Hello, YouTube, and welcome to our Extra Life episodes, basically a recap of everything that we ended up doing this past weekend. We participated in Extra Life Game Day 2021 and had also a stream before and after making it an Extra Life weekend. We hope you will enjoy the episodes here, and hopefully, if you haven't already, visit our Extra Life page and maybe consider giving a donation. Now, real quick, there are incentives still available. However, the playmat is not available. But if you go to the Extra Life page or you follow the Twitter link down below, either one, find the Twitter link on our Extra Life page or the Twitter link in the description. We're gauging interest in how many people would like this one to come back for maybe a second round here before Extra Life 2021 finishes. So. When you see these incentives hyped up throughout the videos, just know you can possibly add to that interest and possibly get this one. Otherwise, the other incentives are available. And again, none of this is necessary. Maybe share it with a few friends if you want. It is our charity event that we like to participate every year. I hope you enjoy the episodes that are going to follow here. Let's play some magic. We'll see you in the videos. Yeah, I'd be too excited. If we if we ever top deck Rhino for the win, I might lose my mind. <laughs> I, I, that is, guess what? I hit record. <laughs> you better lose your mind. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? The goal here, because I firmly believe you can play competitive, and we do that like all the time. You're trying to play an Abzan list that you're trying to crush the meta. I'm trying to play like Red Prison and crush the meta, you know. Okay, there's lots of blue. We'll play boil today. And you're you're like, well, stone blade's really good. I've got to like cauldra complete people. There's the other side of magic. And the other side of magic, I think, goes along with our extra life here. Extra life, we're raising money for kids. KO Diamonds is joining us. If you don't know, he's the Abzan guy. We're gonna try to make Seed Rhino good again. <laughs> How are we doing I that, mean, KO? <laughs> I mean, spoiler alert, like, as much as and I do play, I just don't think Siege Rhino is up to Modern's current power level, especially with all the tools that every other deck got in Modern Horizons. And for a mana, for this type of body and effect where it's just, you know, a Helix and a 4 or 5 Trampler, just doesn't cut it. But for some reason, the Magic community loves Siege Rhino. And I feel like every time I stream it, I don't have a Siege Rhino. People always ask, why aren't you running Sea Trino in the list? Um, I mean, Lyris as a companion is a big reason why you can't run Sea Trino, but uh, it, there's a, definitely a, a hit of nostalgia for but, the but Rhino. We're, and we're it's ignoring the point. that cat today. <laughs> we're, we're definitely ignoring that cat. I mean, we're running Grief and Restoration and Solid Restoration Angel and Solitude, so it's definitely a spicy one that you actually came up with. I'm actually kind of excited to try this type of build because I haven't tried like a Grief build yet in Abzan just because of the consistency issues, I think. Um, it's kind of a high ceiling, low floor play. But I think Rhinos would be kind of an interesting um, inclusion because uh, I played some like black-white grief, and the problem it has is it kind of goes all in on grief, and then um, it kind of can't really close the door because mm -hmm. uh, you attack for three with the grief that it can't necessarily be blocked in the early game because that's menace uh but then you kind of get to the late game where they kind of stabilize they find a bolt for your grief or whatever um and then you're like oh your opponent's at like five life you can't turn the corner and then i think having siege rhino with you know more fem rates or malika rebirths to or persist to bring back rhinos I think it's going to be an interesting build to try out. So I know you're mentioning it's not the most spikiest list, but I, it's definitely interesting to see how it will play out in you know a modern meta with what's so powerful nowadays. So we do have to make maybe one or two cuts. We want to drop this to 60 would be probably good. But you mentioned about not being the most spiky list. <laughs> we attack the meta, and you know what's going on right now? The modern challenge. And you know what that means? The league is is casual right now. <laughs> We're going. Is in that why firing. you slotted me at this time slot? <laughs> you picked the time table. slot. <laughs> We're just attacking the meta as it is. Yes, we are going to attempt four rhinos here. We want to see rhinos. We want to cast rhinos. One of the things that I thought about here, and this is why we have like life in the loam. I know you mentioned maybe we should cut that for maybe discard or just cut it so we can get down to sixty. 
I, I, the idea here is life in the loam and wither bloom kind of helps you like maybe mill a rhino and then we could persist it, which is kind of interesting to me. Um, the other thing that was a little bit interesting with life from the loam is I'm a little worried. I know we technically have this rebirth here for 22 up to 24 lands. I'm just a little bit nervous though. And I know this comes into play, uh, tapped, but I'm a little nervous that we're, you know, trying to do fours and five drops. I know, I know if you look at like grief and solitude, they're kind of like freebies sort of. Um, the other thing I'm really hoping to do is get up to, you know, three mana, maybe persist a rhino. They go to like, okay, whatever, you know, unholy heat. We just ephemerate it or resto it or something like that. So, um, but you are the Abzan player. Uh, my, my one nod here is I want to make Liliana good too. So we're doing siege rhinos, Liliana's. You want to cut two things. You think the life from the loam, you like that idea of maybe like persisting them down. Do we want to maybe not worry about the undines or maybe we keep undines because of grist and we cut one ephemerate, maybe this this one because thanks, mana traders. <laughs> what, what do you, what do you <laughs> well, think here? Do we, we, do we need I a little more discard? You, <clears throat> you, you added a Felidar Guardian. So like, what is that for? Uh, Feldar Guardian here works a little bit nicer with Liliana and Grist. Let's assume that we end up putting a Grist in and we need a down tick. Um, like the next turn, we can use a token. Then we can Felidar, Grist, uh, down tick, use Siege Rhino, but undying the Siege Rhino. You know, going for Christmas land here. But Feldar Guardian, I usually, I would run three Restos, but because I have a few Planeswalkers here, I do like the Guardian to reset and double discard or double down tick, stuff like that. So my question to you is, do you think we want 24 lands, including the Rebirth, or do we want to go up to 25 to hit the four mana consistently? So we could also just cut three cards and then just add a 25th land. A 25th land and it could be another rebirth if need be. we could that was if we if we end up cutting loams here um i definitely wouldn't mind like another card here and it might be good to just be a fetch land to be as consistent as we can or a, a shock land or something like that yeah how many catacombs do you have in here three there you go. yeah i think a fourth catacombs and then cutting the two loams and then <laughs> I and the Abza community is gonna go after me, but I kind of want to just cut the fourth rhino. <laughs> cut the fourth rhino. I know rhino. we're not gonna do that. I know we're not gonna do that. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> we could also just cut a Tarmogoy. Maybe we cut the Tarmogoy. If Tarmogoy is kind of the low end here, and we want to be persisting, maybe or wither blooming, and I want to give this a shot a little bit more. We don't have that much actually removal at the low end, and and I am a little worried about like monkey. Um, so Tarmogoy, do you happen to have a Burden Catacombs I can steal off you? Yeah. Let you can, see. that way you don't have to mana trader it. Yeah. Are you, are you at the, uh, are you at the cap already of the... No, no, I just, it was taking a little bit lazy? longer this morning, <laughs> so I'll, I can get it back to you. Yeah, I, yeah, I own a lot of my fetch lands, so... I do see a recommendation to just cut the thought seas, stay with maybe the loam or something like that. We could we could go for the combo still. <laughs> I mean, that's not bad, but then we also just don't have much interaction. Like if they go, like we don't. We I guess it's really the griefs. We have grief and thought seas. It gives us six things here. If we need to like remove the thought seas is for something. We're casting Rhino, like, you know, this is going to be pitched. We're not pitching Rhino to Grief, obviously. I mean, <laughs> I feel like that's all it's used. Swap <laughs> removal in for thought seeds. <laughs> I mean, I, I I feel like I always trash Siege Rhino because I've tried to make it playable for so long, and it's just not good. <laughs> We're going to make it good. We're going to change your mind today. We're going to play a bunch of burn players. Thank you. I'll grab this. We'll up the Verdant Catacombs here. Your head is sliced off by my... <laughs> by your moto. By the, yeah, moto. Because it bounces the Is screens that... everywhere. Because I actually played an Abzan list that one of my mods, like, one in FNM with, and he had like I think three rhinos or something. And to be fair, I did manage to get the three two by rhinoing for the win as a last match. 
that was pretty exciting. So I do have some hope for it to be, you know, fun to play. I can at least get one win out of it, out of it right now. I think that'd be really exciting. That's all I want. That's what we're going to do. So you ready to play? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> all right. Let's get it going. I threw Griston as a last little, little like nod here to green black. Basically, the, the, I guess the core of the list came from an absent or a black white blink. Make sure I have the right list. We are good. And so we've kind of like taken that and then shoved green into it. And that's, that's what ended up happening here. Yeah, I actually like the go the the Grist edition. I think just just having another good card, it's removal, it makes bodies. Uh I, I think it's just a just a solid edition. I've really liked Grist, depending on the meta. Obviously, if it's a little bit more of a grindy meta, if there's a lot of like control. Uh just the fact that you can, you know, it's like a bitter blossom and uh a way to remove planeswalkers in one card, it's really, really good. Wait a minute, bitter blossom? You mean I should be playing green black meat hook. Sorry, <laughs> I'm honestly Sorry. surprised you didn't suggest that. Oh, like, I I was looking I at that. Play that with you. <laughs> I was looking at that Mardu list. We'll we'll get we'll get a Mardu list that's really refined, and we'll get it. Or maybe we'll we'll come back to green black. All right, let's run this. Look at that pew pew four four four. I don't even recognize that name. Look at this casual. All right. Uh, well, are we are we pitching a grief to this grist? I think we are. With the undying With and the then the slam Tarmogoyves, right? Yeah, and this is where I think Tarmogoyves is going to be really useful in the list too, because we go grief into goyf into goyf and like beat this clock. Exactly. Who who needs to go get artifacts with stone blades and stuff? <laughs> Takes too long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Did they reveal a companion? I think they did, right? Uh, yes, they did. They revealed Luris. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, so just the Godless Shrine, the Grief. I need to stack this yep. correctly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. That's yeah. always the thing. When I first casted a Grief, a grief on Moto, I was like, please do this correctly. <laughs> I know, right? All right, this uh, stacked first yeah. there. We're good mm -hmm. so far. Trying not to like first. pass. All right, we have an unholy heat, a Nile spell bomb, oh, a Ren. Yeah, just take the heat. Just take then... the heat and then undying and take the Ren, right? Yeah. All this happening. It's happening. Okay. A, a little awkward because the Nile spell bomb messes with Goyf a little bit, but. Yeah, we're, but. We're happy. They they kind of have to exile their own graveyard to really shrink the goyf more because they have planeswalker and um, truth and we'll have the fetch land in our in our graveyard. So if they really want to shrink the goyf as much as possible, they'll have to take themselves off delirium, which is I think perfect line for us. Oh, agreed. Yeah, yeah. I think we'll we'll be good here. This this feels like like the stone blade package. I'd have to go get like stone forge and this like three fours with the four three. This is this is like aggro grief here yeah and i think that's this is gonna be some oh they had the goyf that they top decked oh now we're gonna be bouncing <laughs> yeah <laughs> Ooh. Okay. okay we can wait on that too because we can play that at instant speed yeah i'm wondering if we should trying to remember i have double black i have double white so i need green probably the green temple garden here the temple garden yeah the only thing we get punished is liliana but i think that's fine exactly play this and swing in menace for the win oh yeah menace is just so relevant with grief agreed agreed They're all like, what's this casual fluffy doing? <laughs> <laughs> you, you just wait, pew pew. <laughs> it's off. Little do they know. <laughs> exactly. Oh, red mana. Okay, that's not Ooh, scary yeah. at all. No. That's not scary either. No. 
Because, like, even if they try to exit out of their own graveyard, this Goyf is still bringing out the Ragavan. I think we still wait on that. Oh, yeah, I think we're waiting on this because, really, we could, like, get an Ephemerate or, you know, Undying and really hose them. Um, I think we just attack all, and then if they try to double block Grief, we'll we just uh, solitude. do something with Solitude then, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're hitting them for seven. We, They're almost dead. Yeah. Abzan Grief Aggro, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna stall us out a little bit. We're gonna draw two lands and then we're gonna get the rhino. <laughs> That's how oh, this game's gonna sweet. go. Oh, okay. Oh, are they double blocking? No oh, way. Double oh, illegal. Try again. Opponent opponent didn't read menace. Just just, bl just block here. <laughs> just, ba <laughs> yeah. just bounce. Which is yeah, which is actually fine because then they're they're down to seven, like. Yeah. And then we just play another goyf. Play another just... goyf and then prep solitude here. Marsh flats in. Ah, see, this is why we should have cut the fourth rhino and not the fourth tarmogoyf, Fluffy. <laughs> so you're telling me we're already learning things? We've made poor decisions. <laughs> I've gotten burned by not cutting Rhino way too many times. You're just witnessing it now. Sorry, we're not playing burn here. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we're good. They have they have delirium. That shouldn't hurt us at all. Yeah. So that them exile in the own graveyard just like still keeps our goyfs huge, and the fact that we have two versus their one with the solitude in hand mm -hmm. means we're in a good position. Oh yeah. Doesn't even attack. All right, let's go get that triome. <laughs> the beautiful, beautiful triome. I actually opened this triome. It was destiny to happen here. I think this is the right one. Oh, right? the showcase one. Yeah. Nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Well, just swing. Pretty good. Yeah. It was... I mean, they have two cards here. I could solitude before. I mean, I kind of like just waiting. I mean, are you because it's not like oh because we want to go for lethal but then the salty gains them life so it's not like oh that's true we go up to nine you know yeah, it's just so attack it's... and okay. when they when they double block this or something well they can't so they have to block here and here oh oh yeah this is a heat this is a heat this is a heat oh, really wish we drew a land yeah because the oh, restoration okay. angel they're heating mm. the grief. Like, I'm okay they with have delirium, this. right? Yeah. Now they're five sixes. Okay. They definitely have to block here and just persist back yeah. the grief. Yeah. Yeah. Because one of these is probably hitting. Well, no, I don't know. <laughs> This, this feels really good. And this will also yeah. tell them that we're a little bit graveyard. And they might keep the spell bombs in, which really aren't very good against us. Well, I, I'm assuming they have Urza Saga, so um, I would assume they would. Nice. Darn, um, they would uh, probably just keep it as a two to target. But this grief being a two one, like that minus one minus one counter, actually doesn't really matter because they're at two, which is awesome. <laughs> they're like, uh, do I do I attack? Do I not? We know I have a mountain. Ooh, do we block here? I don't see why we don't here. Oh. Huh. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay, well, then we don't have a decision. <laughs> no, we just solitude and we win, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, that's fine. We get rid of this, they gain two, and we have five sixes. Nice, nice yeah. mountain. <laughs> nice mountain. There we go. All according to plan. All according to plan. All right. This is where I'm going to need a lot of help, your expertise. So we're playing against, I guess it's Jund. It's just Jund Luris, right? Yeah, it's Jund Luris. Um, I've got so I think, many good things that kill everything. We have so many good cards. <laughs> like, it's actually kind of borderline ridiculous how many good cards we have <laughs> in this matchup. We have, because we want Endurances, we want Kaya's Giles, and we actually kind of want all the Decays, but not the Pulse. Because the Pulse is actually kind of... Um, Three mana is a lot of mana in this matchup where 
they're a mid range deck, but they're very low to the ground. Um, so and decay just hits everything, knowing that they're revealed lures. I mean, um, we, we show them the persist. We can avoid that. Like we can avoid the graveyard by just like taking maybe the undines and persist, and that just opens us up to four easy whatever. Because ephemerate avoids the graveyard. Yeah, that's that, fair. That could be just a way to like, hey, we showed you graveyard, and they think we're probably more graveyard. Mm -hmm. So let's just ignore it. You know, I don't yeah, think it we hurts us that, that much. Out. Yeah, we're gonna board that out and then board up the thought Caesars and that's six cards. And then and we can I think want... Sorry. What do you want? Uh the two guys gals I think are for sure. Um the chalices are interesting too, because we are like if we cut the undying evils and the thought Caesars, we don't have that many one drops and chalice on one to get heat monkey um and their the discard effects are pretty good too. You could definitely do that. We could even cut like a Saladar probably here. Yeah, let's try that. So then that's seven. Seven. Cards. So we're looking yeah. at Yeah. Like these seven forget the pulse, or do you care about endurance for their stuff? Do we have enough green sources to reliably hard cast the enters? <laughs> well, four, five, six, we have Temple Gardens, seven, we have the Verdant eight, Catacombs, nine, Overgrowns, Triome and a Forest. I think we do. I mean, it's not like an immediate thing and it's 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 you have to keep in mind that our, our green splash is light. No, it's very heavy. Never mind. <laughs> that case scroll of the rhino and you're like, oh no, this is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I let's start with that seven for now, and then we can see what our curve looks like. Okay, we have 30 um, seconds. Chalice is gonna be about here. These are lands. I honestly think this is fine. Yeah, I think. I mean, I maybe we want the endurances over the Skyclave operations, but I think Skyclave answering like red and six and stuff is powerful. Yeah. Still, yeah. People are wondering why we cut a Goyf and not a not a Rhino. <laughs> <laughs> Turple orb, exactly. Here Just you see, go. Look at this. Perfect, Rhino. You are being very useful right now. Exactly. <laughs> the value. And then we'll do the goif again. I mean, you know, this, this deck just builds itself. Fair, yeah, and to be fair, if this rhino was a goif, we wouldn't be able to pitch the grief and probably a mulligan. So <laughs> there's rhino number four. I can see it. Do you see that four at the bottom? Yeah. I marked the card. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's why the four is there. It's not because of the power and toughness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you think Are they're they going to gonna... thoughts use me? Yeah. Oh, no, they might monkey. It's true. The, the whole deck is just one drop, so there could be a variety of things. Black mana. Oh, no, you're right. right. Oh, they have the Yu-Gi-Oh! Thought Seas. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Thought Seas? <laughs> <sighs> oh, yeah. Now they know what's up. <laughs> Handsome. I actually don't think it's the worst art. The artwork on that card is actually really good. It's just the frame, unfortunately. Like, if you just look at the artwork by itself, like, ignore the frame, it's really cool. It's a little dragon that's like, like, not seizing an, an elf. It's actually kind of cool. It is pretty cool. I wouldn't call that a little dragon, but you know. I'm going to go get fit the, fit the, get the triome here. Unless Sounds we think good. there is a, a possibility my opponent has Blood Moon. Yeah. Which they don't because they have Lurus revealed. Um, and them taking Grief is actually fine, actually, because then we are still left with Solitude plus Ephemerate. So, like, any threat they play, we can just Solitude and Ephemerate it. Like, them, mm -hmm. we can actually just, like, wait, play the Tarmogoyf, and then the following turn, they kind of are in incentivized to play a threat unless they have a removal spell. So we're tying up their mana a ton. Oh. Well, we could get rid of that, too. Mm-hmm. If we don't want to play the Tarmogoyf here. Yeah. I think we're in a fine spot. Yeah, I think we're in a fine spot too. Uh, Grace is saying this might be a demon. Actually, you might be right. Might be I think a... so. Whatever it is, it looks really cool. <laughs> yeah, I agree. These frames, like, like Boil's pretty cool. And some other, like, Days is amazing. But the frames just... I feel like they've learned some stuff. Mm -hmm. And they're the frames. Did are they though? Better. Well, they're get, frames <laughs> are getting better. Have you seen the secret layers? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the secret layers? They're like. 
Um, okay, so we have an option between Decay and the Ren and Tarmogoyf. Um, I like just playing the Tarmogoyf, just because right. then we commit to the board. I like and then it. they don't have um, Delirium for Unholy Heat, so they can't really move the Tarmogoyf easily. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And then we commit to the board. It prevents the Dash Ragavan. That's um, true. I wasn't thinking of Dash Ragavan. So, like, I've learned... I feel like it's just the boomer me talking, but like I feel like five years ago I would want to like answer the board more, but I feel like it's gotten a lot more. I don't know why I think it's just kind of more like anecdotal data, but like I feel like I've just gotten a lot more value of just like committing to the board more, mm -hmm. and then they have to deal with it because I feel like the board is just so powerful as like the power level has gone up. Um, Fair enough. I think in uh... situations like that. I think that makes sense. And, and like the board like grows incremental value that we're seeing here with Urza Saga and Renin six. It's a good, good pickup mm -hmm. on the land since we're, you know, working towards four. Um, oh my God, we're so close to casting Rhino and ephemerating it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is only possible here on this stream. Um, uh, we can attack like the Renin six or just like have at them. We could also hold, we can attack them and then decay the Ren. Mm -hmm. If need be. I feel like we just need to decay the Ren. Well, we can attack them first, and then... And then, like, it's free to just decay it uh, before damage. Is this worth attacking with the potential... I guess it's okay if they play Monkey, because we can Solitude Ephemerate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have Ancient of Monkey right now. And that they... Like, no matter if they block or don't block, we're still going to decay the Ren, so... It's just a kind of a free attack and see if they block. They probably like 99% won't, but you never know. Can um, we just do this at oh. end or where do you want to do no, this? No, we want it to decay there so then it grows the goyf. Oh, my bad. I don't play no, with this card. I should have communicated that. <laughs> it's no. all good here. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Well, I think we still want to decay it though. Yeah, I think, I think we do. And just be like, look at this. We don't need that extra point. <laughs> Hey, Hooch, thank mm. you for the resub. Also, uh, I think I got heebie-jeebies with heebie-jeebies. Thank you for the extra life donation as well. Hitting us up for five. So if they make a construct and that's all they do with their mana, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Because mm -hmm. um, they can probably get a construct... Or, sorry, a Shadow Spear with their Saga, I think. Shadow Bolt's already calling me out. They have at least a Verdant Catacombs in hand. And a Bloodstain. So we know of an another card in their hand, which is good info. They like they play the land that we did not know about, right? Or did they know? I, I think I we, they, they've, they've used Ren and Six action. twice. Yeah. Um. Please, land off the top. Please. Just run around our lands that are untapped. All right, we're gonna we're gonna let it draw. There you go. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're probably just gonna chump with the construct, which is good because that means there's a less, um, a smaller chance right. of them gaining life back with construct with shadow spear and that being relevant. Do we need an extra green here? Do I need like shock and a green or just get a basic? Uh, let me look at the list again. I don't think so. List, it's Goyf. Decay, Goyf, I mean, Weather Bloom. Yeah, I, th I think you can just get a basic here. Or oh, do you want to get Temple Garden? I don't, because it's just Goyf, Grist, Wither with Command. Decay. I think a Plains so need... is okay here. I think Plains is okay too. We're, we're just going to jam a Rhino right after attacks. Oh yeah, this is this is just this is everything you wanted. <laughs> yes, yes. I just want another land off the top oh. that we can go right up plus if I might. I mean, it looks like they're on. And again, if this team. is if this is what they're gonna do for the with their turn, like that's perfectly fine. Yeah, sure. If we top deck land, I think you that that would constitute top decking Rhino here at this point. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Our, the thing about it is though the trample on the four or five body is actually relevant here because they're these constructs that they're making are not big like not big. the con this if they spend their mana on constructing or making a construct here it's going to be a two two and if they equip a shadow spear to it it becomes a three three which we don't really care they can just trample over it 
And I mean, like, if they get, let's let's just say they get Delirium. If they get it before combat, this attack, so it's not blocking. They can only kill one, you know? Yeah, exactly. And if they wait for, like, some weird combat, then we then we got the Rhino saved. Like, I, I yeah. don't think they're in a good spot here. I mean, who knew Helix was oh, no. really good? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I, everyone's going to make me play Siege right now after this. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh god why are you so sad it's doing amazing things i know i know i know they know about the ephemerate doesn't mean they play around it correctly yeah i mean if they're not committing to the board because we have a removal spell like this this tarmogoyf is just like going crazy so and this rhino Hey. Getting bobble. Bobble. Hmm. Okay, so so that's actually really relevant that the Darcy has to attack because mm -hmm. I guess they can double unholy heat right now. They they could do that. They could, but then we still have a rhino and a rhino in hand and an ephemerate. So mm -hmm. this is like I want like them sacking the sug is actually really relevant because they need to produce multiple blockers and or removal spells, which. Like they essentially lost, like a Hold turn essentially because the Darcy can't block. And he just went to four. I mean, if they go to three, then this is you know all right. They stay above. Um, what are they gonna do here? It's a they're seven, always, eight. They're now. obviously yeah, it's, go, it's go huge. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I've been playing. Abzan Urza Saga and Goyce being a 7 8 is like a normal thing. It's absolutely crazy. So, can we really quick just respect Shadow Bolt, who I think called out if we are down to one point, it'll matter. One point would be three, and Rhino itself would be lethal. If we lose this because of this, you can yell at me for the rest of the day. <laughs> I mean, they, yeah, this, we would have won the game next turn, and I would be losing my 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 mind right now because Rhino <laughs> would have won the game next turn. But I think we're still in a really good position because they, again, this Darcy can't block. Uh, this they still need to produce another block with the Goyf. Mm -hmm. Um, like we're we're okay. I I feel pretty strong here. Do they have triple heat? I mean, but then they're double they're doubling down here on the Goyf. Yeah. And then they'll have to have an answer for the Rhino in play. Yeah. And they're going to have to burn this red. It's It's got to be another heat. Yeah. It's true. Land off the top. That's all we need. Yeah, we land have off the top means. Oh, my God. Man, they had triple heat. That's that's kind of crazy. This I'm is... not watching these surveils, yeah. but looks like they're keeping whatever. They, they topped it. They keep yeah. topping it. They keep topping it. Must be a good card. Hmm. I mean, green mana is not scary. Let's get this land here. Come on. I know. We have a few fetches, a few basics. Ready? We draw bobble. Mm hmm. Okay. That's not bad. It's not bad, no. I kind of want to skyclave. Mm hmm. Skyclave, this. remove this, present yeah. this, and then because have Rhino. I yeah, because I kind of want to like play a cat and mouse game with this, where um, we can play the rhino, and then like sorry, uh, play the skyclave. But like the following turn, if we draw a land, they're at uh, four life. We can play a cat and mouse game where we have this ephemery and siege rhino, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. we can like rhino and then attack with it the following turn after that, and then if, if they try to remove, we can ephemerate it for the win. So I kind of like play being pretty patient here because we're just so far ahead. Hey, Sines, thank you for the donation for the play mat as well earlier today. Appreciate it. All right, red and six. That's fine. Okay, that doesn't really do anything. Like, yeah, sure. Go oh, get a gonna fetch get land. land. They're going to get this, but... <laughs> but that's fine. Because now they they they're like incentivized to answer the skyclave. They have to answer. They don't it. Have a, wow. Wait, they don't put. Oh, <laughs> I guess they have. To. All right, let's let them kill the skyclave, <laughs> and then we'll uh, we'll finish the game <laughs> properly, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you 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 know what we're doing, right? 
Well, don't don't ephemerate yet. We gotta we gotta be patient here. But but I want to ephemerate in response here. <laughs> Is this what you needed? Yes. I I do. <laughs> One moment, please. Hold on. We need to tag someone. Um, oh my gosh. KO Diamonds Why? People <laughs> you have, have been gifted a great new thing. Oh, man. That's so funny. <laughs> we got a rhino win. <laughs> <laughs> this, been... The stream is all downhill from here. No, it's you, great right? from here. <laughs> 2 0. Let's go, rhinos. Thank you, we pew pewed, pew pew four four four. We did. I didn't even take their name out of that. They were part of history. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, man, that was that was really interesting. Um, like this is it. It the deck looks really clunky, but grief just being like an early clock and disruption, and then you just slam a goy follow up by a rhino is really really powerful. I know it looks clunky. I know rhinos don't belong in our meticulously put together china shop, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going and <laughs> smashing some things. I mean, rhino I being disagree. able to pitch to grief and solitude that is, is solid. Yeah. And I endurance. think that's a very yeah. It just it just is the all-around all-star. Mhm. Mm it does everything we want it to. <laughs> I nearly put in offense in this list. Then what would you be saying? <laughs> uh, I I I dislike <laughs> Anaphensis so much. It just I've never been impressed by that card, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Look at this. Magic Online's put us in the three one bracket because it knows our power is infinite. Oh no. Oh. Well, this is a fun one. <laughs> yeah, this, this is an easy mulligan. And this is the type of hands that were made me not want to play these kind of ephemerate grief lists. It's because we get like the wrong half of the deck and the wrong in the worst way. Ooh, they didn't reveal a companion, huh? No companion. Um, I like this list and I like just pitching like basic forest here. Yeah, I think we have to, I think we're incentivized to keep this hand. I don't think we can go to a five with how much card disadvantage we have. Yeah, I, yeah. seems good. We're gonna be good. Oh no! Oh, we Why? Didn't, we didn't really plan for this. <laughs> no. Ah, oh, we were on the play. We could have with the room commanded that. Oh darn! All right. Well, we'll see how this goes. I'm okay with like not casting anything. Do you want me to fetch? Just to like. No, I I kind of want to like hide what we're doing. Honestly, okay. like I wanted them to reveal. A win con like I, I would play the second catacombs here just to not reveal the colors yeah and then if they go like turn three card i'd rather just concede and not reveal anything you don't think the power of rhino can do this <laughs> <laughs> I do you if you want to play this out it's all on you <laughs> but i i think we have a lot of value just conceding this is a, so this is a tough one, one if they play like a karn even a worm coil mm. oh we have solitude though mm. We don't have any way to remove Tron, right? Not main board, I don't believe. We would have to hit like a grief, probably. Okay, what are the odds of us attacking with solitude? We'll probably be able to reasonably. They're going to be at 26 if we do that. Yeah. It's not bad. I mean, we could play this game out if they have worm coil. I think if you want so to. if if we if we do that sideboard wise just just to evaluate we have like fracture we have abrupt decays you know we we have like maybe Torok comes in or something we don't have anything that necessarily attacks the lands so we have to play through Tron either way or prevent the Tron from showing up so yeah. I think it would be in our best interest to at least play this um, okay I, I think you're right I don't know. I don't know. I th I almost want to say we rebirth here because ephemerates is a little bit better later. 
I agree. Hmm. Okay, we have a Witherboom command target now. Yeah, we do. <laughs> All right, we want probably a Temple Garden of Godless Shrine here. Yeah. And I can go I get... Go get our Triome. So are we... We're still between the Worm Cone now, right? And then we're going to rebirth it? Is that the plan? Yeah, I guess the question is, am I... Am I holding on to Rhino and sell? Well, if I sell two with Ephemerate, I do the rebirth here. I kind of like keeping the Rhino just because it's a clock. Okay, so we'll get rid of the Ephemerate. Yeah, unfortunately. So now the jig is up, but I, but I think you're right. It's not like we have any um, better. Like we don't have a good post for matchup anyway. The other thing I could do oh, here is just let the Solitude die, and we have. Wither Bloom, Expedition Map, and Seed Rhino in turn four. Wait, what do you mean? I can put, I mean, Sorry. this is a land. I'm guaranteeing that I have the land. I guess we can grab a land We here. have the Kamoon. Yeah, we can bring it back. Yeah. So, like, we can go, um... Yeah, you're right. Bring back a Catacombs Destroy Map. Hooch! Hundred! Great cause, take my money, keep being awesome, Fluffy. And Kale. <laughs> Thank you, Hooch. That's awesome. Hooch just took your top spot. It sounds like there's a battle. Yeah. Okay, okay. that's that's fine. Um, I think we shock that in. Yeah, shock in. Let's go ahead and use Wither Bloom. We're gonna. We want to return a land, probably. Yeah, return a land and I hit the map. Uh, yeah, this one. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> To read I, the I always wall like of text. I yeah, I, like stuff like that in Kaya's Guile. I, it always like I feel so old trying to like <laughs> like mm. am I doing this right? <laughs> grab the swamp. That seems fine. Yeah, perfect. Huh. All right. I mean, this is the best chance we could win. We just hope they have nothing. We can slam Rhino and ephemerate it. If they have another Worm Coil engine, we can ephemerate the Solitude. If they have Ulamog. We can ephemerate. That here. Really They'd have to do minus five. Oh no, they can go up. Mm. Yeah, but then we can Rhino, and then they minus minus four. Oh, we really needed another land at that point, because we could have Rhinoed and ephemerated. But yeah, just... you're thinking about ephemerating the Solitude, huh? So we tack it down to six. Yeah, because the ephemerate, and then play the rear. Well, we can't play the Rhino into this, right? I mean, if we do, it forces them to minus five. And then they go to one. I mean, let's... so like we, we, we attack the Urgen down to six and then we play the Rhino and then they have to minus five to deal with the board. I think it's our best shot. All right. I mean, we're definitely I mean, they're down to three cards. It's kind of like, hey, if we can like somehow get through this, our value could push us over the top. We'll see what yeah, we top that's deck fair. here. Oh, uh, we're not gonna rebound yeah. this? No. Not not the ugly if I break. <laughs> <laughs> and you just yeah, yeah. want technically down to six. Yeah. We're this is the type of game where we really needed that grief opener. And you think we're gonna have to mull and aggressively to that opener game two. Agree. We can we can we can now that we know what we're playing against. This has got to be yeah. a tough matchup. We didn't plan for this. We're planning for other stuff. Yeah, so we... Like, this is a matchup where, like, if we mold, we have to mold it aggressively, and if we don't keep a reasonable hand, we're just going to die anyway. So, like, if we keep, like, an average hand like this, we're going to lose. All so, right. I think we can concede. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can pack it in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So... Yeah, so fracture, Turak, pulse. Um, we could probably. I wish they revealed Karn the Great Creator, because if we did, if we saw that, we could, we could for sure keep in the Skyclave apparitions. I think it's worth to keep the Skyclave because if they get a little bit like. We grief them, and they only have like a star or something, and and all we can we can exile that. Yeah, I, I don't like Wither Bloom Command in this matchup. I don't think it does much. It would just be better to be on Abrupt Decay. 
Yeah, and I don't think we want all three abrupt decays. We could probably just board in one or two. Mm -hmm. Let's look at like maybe swap these. Maybe these seven or sorry five. Yeah. Um, um I kind of don't like our undying evils as much. Granted, we could like keep that in for the um the grief plan. Yeah, I I and think I don't like persist because they probably board in relic. If we did something like this, we'd have seven slots. Maybe keep the Skyclave or keep the Persist. Whether you think it's Relic or whether you think it's something else. Yeah, I think I'd rather keep the Skyclave and let's just five. We um, grab these five. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think that's a clean spot. Oh, we want the Pulse. We can get the Pulse in here. Yeah, we, we really think the pulse. is very good here. Oh, it yeah, destroys Planet I think Walkers. So. I forget that side yeah. of it. Mm -hmm. uh, we could trim maybe like the one Ephemerate. I mean, Ephemerate, I guess, is a way that we can get around some of the way they exile. Yeah, I think I think we need to all go all in on the grief plan, so I think I want to keep the Ephemerates. Okay, Liliana's okay-ish. Yeah. I think it maybe swap we just cut it. A... I like attacking the hand with a Liliana, though. I think we just cut a Skyclave. What or about a, a Rebirth? No, we probably oh, want that for the grief. Hey, yeah. all right, all right. We could we could honor this. This this matchup's really <laughs> tough for Rhino. I'm I'm not gonna lie. This is. I mean, we could also just cut a solitude. Okay. <laughs> Let's do that because at least Rhino pitches the grief. I think I want to keep all the all cards the black can... for the grief. Yeah, I we're all in on grief in this in this. Like, look at all the cards that we boarded and they're all black. We're all in on this on the grief here. I think. We don't want like wither bloom over the solitudes at all or just being uh, on I think the having answers a worm coil is I think worth it. Okay. You, they do gain six, but I think having two answers to it is better than nothing, I think. Okay. And it's a cleaner answer to it too. It's not like a, a sacrifice or something where they'll get their tokens. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. I mean, we don't have a way to flicker it, but I think going like turn one grief into turn two Tarmogoyf is how we win this game. Mm -hmm. And hold the other grief. I think so. We could also just pitch the other grief and then go Goyf and then um, Rhino in turn four. Or we could grief. It depends on four. how much. Yeah, that's true. Which at this it point, because what... we're trying to we're trying to whittle their hand down. Yeah. So you want to pitch the rhino? I think so. Okay, let's do that. I don't think there's there's a whole whole lot to do here. I and mean, we're just hoping their hand is like all in on a map or a scrying. Mm -hmm. All right, we have mine. Yeah, mine. We, just... we have sphere map, and we do yeah, have. We just take the map. Raider. Yeah. Cool. All right. I think that's about as good as it was gonna get. Yep. Like, that's the type of hand that we have a decent shot of winning the game. They do, they are able to, <laughs> oh, man. Even then, they still, they only have one Tron piece. It's true. So. Because that's what they top decked. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Just player, player Goyf. Yeah, just player Goyf. It doesn't matter if we give them black mana, we don't have Void Mirror. Void Mirror would be no. a good... Good thing in this yeah. list for this matchup. Yeah, so we, yeah. Nice. So I think we need to top deck a black card and then we can go perfect. Then we go grief ephemerate okay. and we could take the smallest stuff pretty much. Uh, yeah. We're going to, we're going to do this though. We're going all out. Yeah, we're hand. definitely doing it. Yeah. Like so here, evoke correctly i'm just debating if we should get caught double corn or a spear right. so we have double sphere or we have like both cards oh, we have double spear oh we just take both cards i think because then they're only going to be up to i mean they're going to they can get green mana in fact it's almost just in a way smarter for them in a way especially when they only have the ulamog but you're good with both cards here yeah i, I would take both cards Remember, we get to grab something next turn, too. Mm -hmm. If we want it. And we should have griefed before we attacked, because it would have grew the goif, too. But details. <laughs> oh, true. Details. 
We'll get we'll get them uh, down. Yeah. Uh, if they're at one life again, then we know why. <laughs> we know why again. <laughs> what, what's up, Rish and Danport? Happy Saturday. We're playing some Rhino <clears throat> for the kids. All right. We're gonna do some candy okay, cooking. So looks plans. like. Yeah. So I, I feel like we're incentivized to ephemerate, like rebound the ephemerate again. I think so, because they're going to probably draw here. Oh, okay. yeah, they got the... Well, now so we they have Tron. Now we definitely want to go after this Ulamog. Yeah. So, grief away. All right, so we have an Ugin and an Ulamog. <laughs> it's just getting better oh and better. Oh, my God. Three, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I guess we could I take we Ugin could... because they can't cast Ulamog and hope an Ephemerate or Thoughtseize comes off the top. Yeah, I mean, that's the only option we have. <laughs> Otherwise, they just, like, Ugin us, and then they'll get to Ulamog, so. Yeah. Hey. Do I need to do this now? No, it's not, uh, ooh. Yeah, creature. we have to do this now. So we ephemerate. Give me everything, opponent. Now I can take a creature. I don't yeah. want the sphere, right? No, we want we want we take the Ulamog for sure. Okay. And we hit for six. Look at that. Look at that. We did it. <laughs> this is the most aggressive. Just take all your stuff. I hope they don't top deck anything. Yeah. Draw step. I guess that could have could have worked. We could have draw stepped it. That's not wrong. They dismember but... and it'd be sad. Okay, that's not terrible. Cause we can just attack that down. Yeah. And then we're in top. We need to draw Tarmogoyf here. That's our best shot. Mm-hmm. We do have a card in their hand, oh. but we have to kill the Karn. No rebound here. Oh. Well, another ephemerate. Draw okay. step it. Yeah. Now we get to draw step it. Look at that. We're learning on the fly. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I think we would have. Like, there's no other card. Dismember. Do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's, not, that's still okay. Like, uh, yeah, it's. All We're right. in a top deck war now. We just need to draw a clock, or they can just draw a Karn. Okay, never mind. I'll okay. recoil. Um. Well, how do we get out of this? Land solitude. They blank for three turns. And then they're back up to like 23 life, 29 life at that point. Oh, man. I mean, that that just was the best we could do with this deck, right? We go all in mm -hmm. on the grief and... Well, we know weak spot we here. Down. We, we yeah. know that if, if we've got a little bit too much removal, I'm going to just take the draw. I think we can pack it in. <laughs> I think we could back this in. Yeah. Yeah, I think we Yeah. <laughs> With that blast. I mean, we could have stalled a couple turns, but, like, I don't think it's going to Well, happen. we have a lot of, like, removal. So if this becomes the problem, like, when when you, you build your list and you brew your list, there's, yes, this is great, we did it. And then you run into that one matchup. It's like, okay, I'm way overboarded for... Ragavan or whatever. I need I need a little more for this. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. it's okay. I mean, that's we we got Tron, and that's the nature of the beast. Sometimes. I mean, we're right on track. You said we're downhill from here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was hoping we didn't run into Tron, but true, true. Because I feel like at that point, our game plan is like completely warped. You know, so. I mean, we have the Kai's Giles and Endurance. Do we need the Magistrate? Should this just be Void Mirror? Should this be, you know, whatever, whatever it could be? I mean, you could, you could with the Undyings and the Rebirths, you could play Fulminator Mage in this. It'd be yeah, a little late. I but... mean, I, I think that's what I was saying. For like, I, I personally don't think it's worth like compensating so much to beat Tron when it's right. Almost unwinnable anyway, and not that much of the meta either. 
Uh, this is kind of an easy mulligan, I think. Mm -hmm. No green mana. Can't cast literally anything. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost there. Okay. A little more interesting. Uh, yeah. I almost want to just pitch the solitude here. Yeah, I think so too. And almost don't even bother with the grief immediately here. Just kind of see what my opponent no. does. I think so. Are they low getting? They are, huh? They are. They are. Yeah, sorry. It's way over. So on handsome. The yeah, handsome. I know you mentioned assassin trophy, and I just don't think it's worth having assassin trophy in this list or at Abnet in general, just to try to be Tron because. A, that match is unwinnable, and B, you lose so much percentage points against literally every other matchup, too. So it's... I just don't think it's... It is a catch-all, catch but I don't... Like, you also have Vindicated Millstone Pulse if you wanted to go down that route. No, I'm feeling... Like, ramping... <laughs> ramping, like, and trophying, like, a Ragavan that you need to answer, or Darcy, just feels so bad. There you go. Okay. So, we want to just... Yeah, we just Grief Liliana away yeah, we, and undying it. Yeah. Unfortunate that we can't do this on turn one, but it's yeah, I think turn still two a against a young two. wolf here is totally fine. Yeah. Especially because we're on the play too, so we don't lose too much tempo. Alright. Well, just take strangle root and cord. I think so. They already have a lot of mana anyway. So walls just yeah. wall. Ice plus cord. Yeah. We're doing it all, opponent. Don't mind us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a nice big 4-3-2 here, too. So if yeah. we do go blocking, we can kill some stuff and not worry about an Undying Wolf here. Mm -hmm. uh, having Drawing Undying Evil instead of, like, Ephemerator or something is actually pretty relevant in this board state. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We just got to hope that they don't draw anything. No Yogg. Well, we're we're close to just rest of the grief here on a draw step to steal away. Hopefully, not like cord here. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if you want to, if we want to do ephemerate or not here. We could. I don't think so. I don't think so. Because we have to attack through this young wolf next turn. Otherwise, we trade. True. And I think I don't think we can afford trading our clock. Unless we drew another undying evil, but. Well, then that would just be nuts. <laughs> yeah. If, if they have Yawgmoth here, they have Yawgmoth. I don't think they, there's really a... Uh... Like, I, we have to try to end the game, I think. I don't think we can afford and you like to... you like doing that through attacking here. Yeah. Nice. I'm down with it. As them, like, chumping with Young Wolf is, like... That's just, like, one less card they could draw or one less activation off of um, Yawgmoth. I guess if they got Yagmoth and they tried to do something to pick off the grief, we have the ephemerate to keep it alive. Yeah. And the land here would be actually kind of nifty because then we'd have that restoration plan as well. Using wall of roots here, mm -hmm. three mana. Okay. Okay. I wonder if they'll sack to kill the grief. To kill our grief. They yeah. technically don't have to. They could just make a 1-1 one, one and then... All right, they have a burden. Okay, they played the land we did not know about, so we know <laughs> their hand now. I'm telling you, it's a casual Saturday. <laughs> oh, what? They're doing it. All right, so we'll let them target here, I guess. Yeah, exactly. That's, like, really good for us. Because mm -hmm, we can get rid of the grief here. Just turn this into... Planeswalker removal at this point. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it shrinks it and stuff. And, but I mean, we, we we top deck a land. We remove this. We on draw step go after their hand again. Mm -hmm. Then we just start punching well, their face in. I don't know. I mean, the the femrate. I don't think we rebound. I think we just no. We don't rebound. I'm, I'm saying yeah. This oh with happen. the resto. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Sorry, you've, you've forgotten. Thragtus resto. <laughs> this sea rhino th resto is kind of like. Kind of, kind of there. Land. Well, I mean, we I mean, can do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. How aggressive do we want to be with this, though? I guess that's the real question. Oh, they're going to get Dryad Arbor.
I mean, we kill all this. Oh, I really right? wish you drew a land. Sorry? I mean, we kill this. Right? Then they don't have a board state. Yeah, and then they just have a grist. A grist. Hmm. Yeah, I think we, I think we just have to let this happen. It's just unfortunate that they have a grist now. Yeah. The one thing we could do is if you think we would hit one of our undyings or other things, we could cycle here. We're going down a land farther away from Resto, but trying to, like, really get it here. I don't think it's worth it. Because, like, if we top deck a Rhino or something, like, we really need our lands, I think. And you don't want to go for I the think we accept this. You think we can beat the Grist? I mean, we can Resto in in a turn here, too. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We can, we can attack the Grist down. Like, we draw a land next to we just Resto in a turn and attack it down. And they only make two tokens, which isn't... Which is not good for us, but but they're just tokens, winnable. you know. They're we yeah, can we exactly. can beat the tokens, and they have a verdant catacombs exactly. here plus whatever they draw, so it's like strangle root guys. It's, it's a pretty good draw for them. Yeah. All right. Okay. Empty-handed. Yep. I mean, we could find a solitude here and get rid of some stuff too. Yeah. Oh. That's a good one. Remove strangle root, ephemerate, remove gris. No, we can't we can't I can't ephemerate. We can't ephemerate. But we just remove the gris, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Well you say unfortunately, but I I, I think it's fine. I mean we could it go is. we could go after the strangle root. I mean, if we go after the strangle root, let's think this through. They could down and they get a 2-2, two, two. but if they go up, then we have the ephemerate. We can ephemerate the grist away. Yeah, that, that's what I was debating. Is like That's why I said it was unfortunately, because if you have to skyclave the grist and then we have to ephemerate it for some reason, they get a 3-3. Three, three. So let's so, get rid of the strangle root. Yeah, I think so. I mean, my my opponent here, our opponent, is top decking. And if we get that land, we're we're pretty okay to swing over at some point. Yeah, that's true. I mean, they could view this. They could they could play, you know. They can get, like, Geralt's Messenger or something. And then they cash in Grist. You know, it's something that... We're at the state, right, where we're at. We, we, we know we have a fairly powerful top deck. Oh, snap. Oh, they milled. They milled a Grist. Another Grist. <laughs> Extra oh token gosh. goodness. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, it's still not looking that bad. Yeah, we need a top deck of land. That'd be great. We can also ephemerate Grist away, and then this is ephemerate. I know we're building their token base, but I think we're going to be okay. All right. There you go. So. We're just going to resto. We could attack and see if they chomp Grist. Trump instead of double block, why wouldn't they double block? <laughs> well, if make them do it, because I feel like if they um, just get basic, so I don't double block, we'll just resto and that'll be it. Okay. So this is kind of like a quote unquote free attack. Free attack. Because if we token. can get it, yeah, attempt to get one token. If they double block, we just resto because we're gonna resto anyway. <laughs> oh, they're just they're just playing it super safe. They're just like it's just correct. It's just <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're trying to see if we can, if they're going to make a mistake, right? And it's like, we just, we have, it's, this is such free equity just to do. So. All right. I and mean, I think we have to get rid of the Gris now. Yep. It's a little too big. Yeah. And, and luckily this Restoration blocker. Angel is also like pretty big too. It's a 3-4. So like they kind of can't attack into it either. Okay. Young Wolf. Okay. We can play with the ephemerate to make sure that Yogmoth isn't a problem right now with the yeah. double and dying creatures. We're, we're okay. Yeah. We're going to get baited by a rhino here. <laughs> oh, if we got a rhino, it's actually pretty bad good. Because we can attack and stabilize the ground. They don't even know if they want to attack. Look at that. Yeah, I mean... Good old resto. <laughs> Yeah, the rest of those, like literally holding the fort down. I have a grief in the yard. That's interesting. Mm. I 
don't think we can do anything. You want to crack the clearing right now? What if, what if we just attacked with Skyclave? But then they just block with the illusion and they get a bigger illusion and we don't have a Skyclave. Then we persist back the Skyclave, we take a Young Wolf and then we Ephemerate take the Strangle Root and now they're working off strictly tokens and like an evolution doesn't get them Yawgmoth. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. And we're going to get rid of one three. of the tokens. I mean, I'm not so worried about yeah. a 3-3. Three, three. No, no, yeah, because we have the resto. Yeah, I, I, I like that attack. What's up, chap? Chat from Canada. <laughs> Here they go again. Yeah, they, All right, they, do you want to kill two just... tokens? Or do you want to kill them? Actually, yes, because it's less Grist Father. Okay. Or, sorry, less Yogmoth Father. Apologies. We can block the 2 2 as well. All right, well, let's, let's yeah. get some value out of this persist here. Mm -hmm. Well, Skyclave the Geist first, right? Uh, don't we do Young Wolf because I'm going to ephemerate to get rid of the Geist? Oh, is that. Do they still get the token? No, right? Wait. Because we want, we want to exile the one that costs one last. Okay, and we do sure. this, and in response, we're gonna. Yeah, so target the guys, and then um, ephemerate the Skyclave. Yeah. Skyclave, and then we can also ephemerate the resto, blink the Skyclave too, if we wanted to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did I do this wrong? I might have done this wrong. No, yes, no. No, oh, no, you did it right. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, so that way, when this, <laughs> this Skyclave dies, they only get a 1 1. Yeah, it's got the Fiend Hunter text. I just, I'm just like, what direction is this? All right, a little wall fruits. Like, I almost want to just get rid of that now, too. Again, so they don't have something that evolution gets them. Yeah, no, that's 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 a fair line. Because, like, evolution gets Yogma with that. So, and, like, giving them a 1 1 is, I think, fine. And ephemerate the Skyclave, right? I don't yep. think there's a reason to do it on the rest, though. Mm -mm. Because if we draw Rhino, then we want to attack with the, with the, the rest, though. This is wild. <laughs> this is wild. Skyclave apparition. Good deck building. Rhino. Okay. All right. I attack with Resto now. It's time. I think so. Yeah. Let's get it in there. Now we have an intro to Yogmoth if they find it naturally here. Well, sort of. Yeah. They could go after the Skyclave well, by sacrificing things. It, they can't technically cast the Yogmoth now. Oh, I guess it's so. true. We've kept them at three. Yeah. We've given them the blue world. <laughs> this is such an awkward board state with how many illusion tokens they have <laughs> what's kind of cool here is we can at least like we could chump with the skyclave and then like resto in i'd like them to play something pre-combat obviously but yeah i mean if they just attack with the, the two two three three i think we just take oh, they don't even attack them. I don't think we play Resto. No, we're going to save it because they might have Cord here. Yeah. Okay, that's... Okay, we'll just attack Resto, pass turn. Yeah. Yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing going on here. I mean, yeah, they, they that's an easy Cord, right? They definitely have the Cord here. Yeah, and they can Cord for four. The thing is that if we try to to flicker our Skyclave, they could kill it. But I guess that's just less things they have then. And then we have a double angel in the sky. Yeah. If they don't have... No, they do. They have Cord. Uh, so now they can get Yawgmoth. And then... They could try to answer... The thing is, like, when do we rest over here? It's it's a weird cat and mouse game. Mm -hmm. That I don't know. I'm, like, thinking through maybe they go after Skyclave on the second one, then we do it. If they don't go that direction. Let's see if they do anything here at end step. Yeah. Oh, they're doing it. Okay. So we do it in response to the second one. Yep. And if they kill one more, fine. Mm-hmm. I mean, we still have two angels yeah, in the air. We have two angels. They are going to draw a couple cards here, but this this is our best spot here. Yeah, 
they'll lose the two two as well. Yeah, they do get another illusion, so like this is it's essentially f not free, mm -hmm. but if we can get them to six, oh, if we draw, draw a rhino, rhino we win and they the don't... game. <laughs> but that's if they don't shrink these. But yes, <laughs> yeah, but they don't know that though. They know they we're playing know. rhino, don't they? No, do they? I don't know. They might. No, we're in game actually. one. They haven't seen a rhino. Yeah. Right? I'm checking. They don't know. <laughs> they don't know. They don't know. They know nothing. They know nothing. <laughs> oh, this is an easy 4-4 nice. four, four attack here. Do it, opponent. Okay. Okay, now it's a 5-5. Five, five. Now it's getting a little scary. I mean, that's fine. Let me go to 6. No yep. big deal. Oh, it. my God. Siege Rhino. One Siege time. Siege Rhino. Please. Rhino. Rhino. <laughs> They're empty-handed. Come on. I mean, even on top land, we can crack the clearing for another Rhino draw, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we have, we have, kind of have one and a half draw, essentially. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I could try to draw for something, though. We can... Uh, yeah, we can draw just to get the most information. Mm-hmm. Cause I could, I get it like a persist here for the Skyclave. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's fine. I think we attack with all and play Tarmog. Oh, can we play Tarmogoyf? Yeah, we can. We can play. Yeah, we attack all and play Tarmogoyf. We attack all. Are we risking dying though? Let's see here. If they attack with one thing. We obviously just chump block. Yogmoth can eat both I mean, nobles. I guess we could attack with one resto and then I like two blockers back yeah. here. But then they only have um like the higher stone attack and then if they just attack with the creatures with the power and toughness, like we take five, we go to one. So well, you the can't only way we because... get I mean we, we have to we have to stay above two, right, for Girls Messenger. I think I don't think we can play on Gross Messenger. Okay, so you want to attack with like, both then? Yeah, I want to attack with both. Play Tarmogoyf and just and then like because then if if we attack with both Restos and they don't shrink them now, then they don't have that many Yogmoth activations. So I kind of want to prioritize putting them at a low life total. Okay. And then we just chump with the Goyf. Let's see what they do. Oh, they would have taken it too. We would have had the rhino. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, go off and go. Now that now they only have two uh, Yogmoth activations. They only have two. Then now, like, since they didn't activate the Yogmoth to shrink the restos, like now they're like this oh. one resto is lethal. And we're we're leaving up. Something I'm not playing the Verdant Catacombs, so we look like we have the Femre, we have the Undying. We we could have any of those answers. So we're gonna make them yeah. them have to play through it. Yeah, because like if we don't attack with the second rest, so they're at six. And Okay. Okay, sure. That's fine. That's true. Yeah. They only have the two activations, they don't have the Misty. And if they do both ignobles, yeah. they have less mana here. And I don't know if they've yep. calculated that in. This line doesn't play around Stringer with Geist either, but like I, I, I think we're at a point where like, well, they they also draw three more cards if we don't attack with the rest two anyway. So they're True. more like like I don't think I like your them. line now. Yeah. Like I'm thinking of trying to block and defend. I like that we're limiting the Yogmoth draws to find like two answers yeah. here. And this is limited their Missy Rainforest. We just <laughs> let's go. Rhino. Okay. Ah, that, that would have been Oh no, we kinda fetch oh no, we're at six, right? Oh yeah, we yeah. we would have been it would have been close. <laughs> All right, cool. uh, Kyle's Giles feels decent here, as does potentially endurance. Endurance is pretty decent, yeah. Mm, that's just an answer to Gris fractures kind of loose. No, I don't want to fracture. I'm just I always have to read to verify all the things it hits. <laughs> I don't play this card very often. <laughs> I, I don't either. A lot of people got hyped about that card when it was spoiled, and I was like, 
I mean, it doesn't do as much as you think it does. <laughs> it does things, but we handle the grist there too. That's that's pretty notable. All right, so yeah. I think we cut the withered wound commands. I don't mm -hmm. think there's a lot of targets there. Um, our persist was value there. Would they bring things in for the graveyard? They probably would. They have scoos. But do we care about scoos? You know a card that I actually don't like here is Liliana, because they have all the Undying and the um, Orcs. So Liliana is actually kind of poor. I'm good with that. Um, since we're cutting Planeswalkers, you can grab the Felidar. Yeah. So that we can go, like, two Endurance, two Guiles, and at least one Decay. I kind of want more Decays, though. I think the thought seeds and the griefs are necessary. The solitude's definitely up there. We could yeah. cut a resto. I know that's a little bit of a odd one to cut. Resto or like an ephemerate? I think one of to get one more abrupt decay. We could also just cut a persist. I like the persist too. I, I I'm kind of worried the persists aren't going to work. We could we could double down on persist and bring in like we can even get maybe a pulse in case they get a lot of like tokens again. Yeah, I, I want the pulse just to answer Yawgmoth because we don't have a lot of clean answers outside of the solitude. And okay. I guess we have the Grist, but I think that's pretty clean, actually. Yeah, I think so. That's pretty clean. All right. Greatest posture check is tough. I, like, screwed up my back the other day. It sucks. <laughs> Didn't you hurt your back, like, a, like a month or two ago, too? Or is this the same issue? <sighs> my wife's starting to think that it might be kind of a similar issue. Um... Work at a computer all day, stream yeah. a bunch too, yeah. and we think it's like hamstring based. So I need to I need to stretch more. What do you think about this? Oh, hand? I wonder if you have like sciatica or something. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. This hand like does a lot and nothing at the same time. It has Thoughtseize, Tarmogoyf, but like Undying Evil and the rest of it don't do anything. <laughs> 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 We're essentially like blowing into five with this hand. So are we okay with Thoughtseize plus Tarmogoyf? I like that we have three lands, but. We, I think we can mulligan this. You good with a mulligan? You don't. <laughs> you don't hard. want to. You, you want to keep. I don't want. To. Keep it. <laughs> I can't. I I never mulligan thoughts these time ago hands with the three lands, but like it's a mulligan to five essentially. So if we're already mulligan to five. Sorry, they're like already the playing. I kept it for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they have Bela Summer. Are you kidding oh. me? All right, do you want to not thought seize and we just go get out of Triome? Play around it. Okay. No two but drop matters real... here. It's the threes and fours. Yeah. Well, do they... Did we reveal thought seize game one? No, right? We reveal gr grief. Do you want mm, it? This is a... I say Burden Catacombs pass. <laughs> okay, let's do it. All right. We we kept because you wanted it, and now I'm taking over. <laughs> Thought sees. <laughs> Plus we have endurance here. Whatever two drop here doesn't matter. Look at that. Yeah, that's fair. But now they still have veil up though. Oh man, wall of roots is so disgusting. It also just blocks oh. their tomber going. Oh. <laughs> well, they can okay. still do this. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Just want to slam a Goyf or you want a Thought Seize now? No, I think we slam Goyf still. Yeah, this. Hey, Heebie Jeebies, thanks for the five to extra life. Yeah, Heebie Jeebies is going off today. Your, your, your whole stream is just like, is that. A donation tracker on the bottom up to date. Does it update automatically? It updates automatically. Oh, that's beautiful. Actually, already like, like provides good stuff. <laughs> yeah. We you're... were killing it last night. Yeah, you're already halfway there. That's awesome. It's, it's all because of our halfway. community. They're the best. Yeah. A lot of them are snagging that playmat. Did you did you see that playmat? You gotta pull the playmat up again. It looks beautiful. We can we can do that after this game. We'll be like halfway yeah. point like i can 
that would be a good time for me to stand up too because this chair is like <laughs> yeah. i i mean my posture is not the greatest because i have my dog on my lap so i can't like <laughs> sit properly <laughs> like i wonder if i can get it Doggo. my camera is delayed yeah it's just like oh <laughs> <laughs> Great warm spot. We can't endurance here. This is a little yeah. awkward. Yeah, this is why I was kind of iffy on the endurance. It's a really good card, but like we just can't. I think we're okay though teams. here. Like we have a lot going for us. We have the endurance, we have the Kaya's Guile. Okay. Hmm. How do we kill this Yog Moth? Can't, we can't uh, currently. Oh, this is so awkward. <laughs> we need to be like one more mana ahead here so that we can like undying or leave the endurance. Exactly. And the Kai's Guile. I think. I think we're just going to pass here and leave. I mean, like. Yeah, I think so, too. I think the thought is like, if they like next turn. Yeah, and then I think if they like um play a creature we have to like Kai's Guile first in response. I guess it depends on what it is, because if it's like an undying creature, I guess with the undying trigger on the stack, we can Kai's Guile. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Not so that's scared of if that. They make a one one. We have to Kaya's Guile now. I think. Okay, I'm I'm good with that. Sack. We... Sack make a one one. Yeah, because we can go over the top. Maybe we're just not supposed to play around Bale of Summer. I think we're just maybe we're just too scared of it. I it's possible. It is very possible here. I mean, this is like. You kind of have to make them have it too, right? Like, just oh, that, awkward. That deck list commands incorrect now. Mm -mm. Fury Red Prison. That's not played on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> Let me grab the new tweet. I'm doing it by tweets now because I'm like I'm not making commands all all whole weekend long. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, So I mean, I guess now we could thought seize and then hold up endurance, but then we, hmm. ooh, we can't kill that. Do we block? Then they use the insect to kill. I guess we take this and then we can attack the grist. Try to attack the grist. I was gonna say it might be worth blocking with Tarmogoy just to get rid of the insect token, but I'm liking this. We can then maybe maybe thought seize, maybe we're doing something with endurance as well. We'll have resto possibly to reset the Tarmogoy. Now we drew grief. Wow. Okay. So I think our plan I think here is to Brief pitch thoughts use undying evil it and mm -hmm. then leave hold endurance, up endurance up. Yeah. So then I think we want to attack first to see if they want to, like, if they want to block the goyf with the insect and then kill the spirit with the insect activating Yawk Moth. Mm -hmm. And then we get the so most then, out of the what they have. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I like the way you think. Your brain's working a lot more than mine. <laughs> really, I am along for the ride. I'm the guest here <laughs> today. <I don't> <laughs> I like this. I don't know how you streamed that much yesterday and gonna do another like twelve hours today. I'd be so fatigued if I was in your spot. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I'm feeling? <laughs> All right, we allow this to happen because this just has to happen. Yeah. Yeah. So Gris gets to stick around, but we're going to get the most uh, out we, uh, Unfortunately, we don't have another um, Kaya's guy that we could have answered this Yawg mm -hmm. Moth, but it is what it is. I mean, I think this is pretty good. Yeah, we're not in a 
bats. Well, I guess it depends on what's in their hand. Oh, right. They had multiple Yawg Moths. <sighs> oh, we just take Wolf plus Artist, right? Then it'll uptick with Grist and get Evolution to get a two drop. Yeah, which is fine. I think we have to go Wolf plus Blood Artist. Okay. The Cord could get a two drop as well. So it's not a great hand for us to be seeing here. I mean, they they have five cards. Like they're just the hand's gonna be really good. It's just, but I, I'll take that hand over a lot of other combinations. I think. I mean, I, I would also have appreciated something like you know, um, I don't know. Like land or something <laughs> in there. <laughs> you know? Yes, we waste their hands all lands, <laughs> but they missed their fourth land drop, Luffy. <laughs> <laughs> There's the land. They found it. Okay, you got there. We got there. We're making progress. <laughs> I mean, they could have drawn I mean, a land off Yogmoth. <laughs> to be fair, if they attack with the Jog here, we can um, ambush it with this endurance. Oh, no, no. Why would they attack the Yogg? We have a 4 3 grief. I forgot the grief was a 4 3. Okay. I mean, there's so a lot of can... things that can happen here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they could still cord for three, like you said. Mm -hmm. um, they, can, they can get a messenger and then start. If they try to do some sort of like ping with it, though, we've left, we clearly left endurance up. So they didn't see endurance, though, right? So they, it's still unknown. So we have a cord for three at end step, is what this looks like. Yeah, which is probably a messenger, which we'll probably have to keep this endurance up for another turn, unfortunately. Ooh. No, we can't sky kill the y'all because they just like cord for three and then evolution it away. What? <laughs> what, what, what <laughs> All right, so let's talk briefly about this line. Maybe the opponent had to go, you know, it's Saturday. Um, what I could see here is attacking with the grief. They do something with Yawgmoth with the insect token. Cool. Or they try to cord. I think as soon as they go to fetch, possibly, we might be it might be worth like Restoration Angel the Grief to try to steal it. So the cord can only get something at two at that point. Rather than mm. three. Because I'm worried about Girls Messenger, not so much about like Strangle Root Geist. I don't know though. I don't know what what it would be here. I mean, I think this is a very, I think the decision here and the timing makes this match. Yeah. I mean, from the Yogg point of view, I feel like you're right. The core for three is the messenger line. But if we shut that off, is a core for two for Stringle Root Geist just as bad for us? And I feel like it's it's not great Having, for us because if we they skyclave I guess the skyclave could get Yogmoth, but then the evolution can get the because I think what we need to do is I feel like the difference between skyclave or uh, Skangaroo Skang Geist and Jarl's Messenger is the same in the sense that they're just trying to draw some cards they sack they sack the um, uh, undying creature, they sack the, the insert token, put the plus one kind of on the undying creature. Like, that's their line, right? Yeah, so I think if that's their line, I don't think it matters if they have a draft messenger or string group, guys. So, I think our line is actually just to play endurance. So, when they sack the undying creature, we endurance, we endurance it in a little way. That could be it, too. Yeah. And then, if nothing really big happens and they already burn the cord, uh, we could re mm -hmm. feasibly resto. Mm -hmm tough though so i think yeah i think i like that line more than um doing the rest of it sky cleave it 2-0 okay since they have two. double of evolution like they can just get another the yogma so i don't think there's a point in answering the yogma and that point at that stage i don't think there's any value gained from it but i really wish our point didn't concede that was like like i feel like we were behind but i feel like we were had a chance to crawl back from that I think we did, and I like, I mean, like, that came down to attacking with the Restoration Angels in game, ugh, I'm trying to move this, in game one and stuff like that, <laughs> stretching a little mm -hmm. bit. Let me uh, show that playmat really quick and uh, remind people why we're doing this, then we'll get into game four, or two, one, with yeah. the Rhinos. Let me, you, let me use the rest real quick while you show off the playmat. Sure. And talk about your charity, please. Uh, do I actually have a minute to walk the doggo? Like, do I have, like, a minute or two? You can. I can do this. I'll use the restroom and then we'll come back.
Okay, I'll be right back. So before I go to the restroom. Rest a room. <laughs> KO Diamonds and I are helping each other raise money for extra life here. Uh, we've had several donations come in this morning. Thank you so much for doing that. We have a bunch of incentives as well. One of the incentives that is our big one for this year, we've had, um, and we still do, we have pins. Those are kind of cool. You can attach them to your bag. Some people put them on play mats and stuff. Uh, we have donation deck lists as well. Those obviously just, they happen. <laughs> There's no product to that. But this year, we've got a big one, and that is a play mat. We have 50 of these that we're sending out. It's a roll for hope. If I pull it out a little bit, it gets a little clearer. Roll for hope. It's got a phoenix, multicolored. It's got dice in the bottom. It's our, our big giveaway, well, not giveaway, our big incentive this year. If I take a moment, I can pull up <clears throat> a few other pictures. Let's grab the, the screen. 28% have been claimed. Thank you for the stat. Let me grab uh, Twitter. I've been posting on Twitter like crazy. If you happen to be on Twitter and have seen any of ours, do consider hitting that um, that uh, retweet button, I think it is. <laughs> Let's grab this really quick. Um, yeah, this is good. We got a few of the pictures here. Austin is our artist for this. There's the play mat in all of its colorful glory here. A couple pictures here from our tweet. Stitched edging, signed by Austin, printed by Inked Gaming. Pretty sweet bird. Colors are very rich. I think they turned out really, really well. There it is. All of the... Uh, all the incentive goes to the uh, Children's Network Miracle Hospitals. Let's go uh, get that. And uh, yeah, we're going to get back into some magic here. Uh, don't go anywhere. We got a long stream today. I streamed a little bit with Jaffrey yesterday. KO Diamonds is our Abzan guy. We're doing that. And then tomorrow we have Everos as well. Think it would be worth playing one in barrel rights in the 75. Um probably not. <clears throat> and I only say that unless we were to go like a loan package in this. I don't think so, because you're already using undines and ephemerates. You're not really trying to necessarily get the creatures out of the graveyard. The persist is just in there as a little bit of extra value once we've gotten a little bit later. And if we are not able to say ephemerate or undying, but we have a persist, we can Grief, do that, and then turn two, persist. Not really something I want to do on turn four. I don't want to spend four mana and reanimate something. I don't want to give my opponent the option to hit a non-creature spell. With KO back, we're going to hand Hello. it off to you briefly if you want to chat or whatever. I gave him the extra life spiel. I'm going to hit the restroom, and I'll be back in like one or two minutes. It's all you. Everyone donate your monies. <laughs> all of your money. <laughs> It's actually like pull up your thing too. No chair stream, no best stream. I know. I always, Grace, you always call me out with my chair, my empty chair streams. You always do. But I hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend. Uh, Fluffy Wolf was. This is the second time that I've on come on Fluffy Wolf stream, and it's always a ton of fun hanging out with him, and it's always a good time. And I know it's for a good cause too. Uh, last time we played Mardu, and we had a pretty good run with that deck. So it was debated between Mardu and and Absin, and like we were like chatting and. Um, Fluffy was like, "Hey, like, like, what deck should we play?" And I'm like, "I don't care. Like, whatever you're gonna do. Like, I, I guess we can just run back Mardu because that's what we did last time. It's kind of like on theme of like, if Fluffy Wolf's like Red Prism theme and like my Avzan theme, like, had a baby, it would be that." 
but it seemed like Fluffy was very like, I want to play rhinos. I want to play rhinos. It's all rhinos. <laughs> this is rhino list. <laughs> so. You ready for match four? Yeah, let's do it. I like, pulled up the uh, link to your extra life. It's actually really cool how it's. Um, what's the word? Like, it's all um, a one stop shop. Like, you actually have your stream on here and like the Donny Bun and everything. It's actually really cool. It is really cool. Extra Life does, I mean, they've been they've been knocking it out with how it all interacts. I mean, the, the thing at the bottom is just a, a browser source that we can hit up. Uh, you can see all the donations. Yeah. You can see the incentives on the right side. Um, it's great because they have a, you can do a Facebook page. You can do uh, tweeting out. You can do, you can do everything from there. Let's go. Mm. Half expecting two man. I don't understand why you choose to play two Wither Bloom commands instead of Decay. People love Wither Bloom command. And if you don't play Saga, I don't know. It's hard for me to see why, but I mean, there are synergies with bringing back Rebirth in this deck. Uh, it destroys Hammer. <laughs> like, there's, 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 um, there's a lot of play to the card. But like in a vacuum, it doesn't do a lot. But you do kind of have to build around it. And Zale's over here dropping one. Thank wow. you, Zale. <laughs> For the rhinos. I mean, blood moons. I mean, I don't really know. <laughs> Thank you so much, Zale. All Appreciate of the it. above. All of the above. <laughs> Rocking it here. Helping us get... Where are we in our in terms of our goal goal? 15, 20? Dang, yeah. we're a thousand away from the end. And is it really the end, or is it just the beginning? Just the beginning. <laughs> All Man, right. This hand is sick. <laughs> I, I kind of like everything about this hand. I'm going to keep um, this. I guess it depends on what they do on turn one. But we yeah. know it's a Gigantha. Okay. Is it Tron? Is it like that mono white aspiring spike deck? Like, which deck is this? Dropping for the kids. Heck yeah, Zale. Zale and Grace, by the way, shout outs to both of them for uh, doing the mod stuff. Shout out to you too, KO Diamond. Being our guest. We'll keep this. We'll see what turn I one mean, is. I, I mentioned this when you were gone. It's the last time we did this co stream. It was a ton of fun. So when you asked me to come on again, it was like not even a thought. It was like <laughs> when and where, what time. <laughs> Oh my gosh, every time. All right, we, we got this every though. We have time. a hand and they have three cards. We're, we're just. We're griefing, right? Well, they mulg into five? Oh my. So we have a, so you say we have a chance. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're griefing. Yeah, we're griefing. Or are we. Unfortunately, we have to. No, we're griefing. I'm sitting here like, what if we solitude and then die? No, that's a dumb <laughs> idea. <laughs> Fluffy uh, needs uh, his Wheaties. <laughs> I mean, technically, it's a, a one minute three two. I mean, it's not nothing. All right. Well, uh, my 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 stream just like died in quality. Is that a what's what's the cards? All right, sorry. Expedition map, Karn liberated in Sylvan Scrying. Hopefully, it'll come back okay. here. I think I just take Sylvan and Expedition and be like, good luck on getting your Karn. I think so. I think so. Yeah. Let me, uh, I have, I have the perfect emote for this that I'm just going to spam. I'm just going to spam. <laughs> you, can, you can spam whatever you want. I think it has something to do with Tron. Oh, they found the land, but it's a power plant. Tron. Yeah. <laughs> Tron sucks. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, we're just beat downs galore, I guess. We are beat downs. We know it's we know it's Karn plus something. Oh, yeah, they just passing back. Oh, they're hitting oh. their lands. <gasps> okay, that's okay. a clock. We just need to draw another land. One more land. Come on, come on, rhinos. And then we can guardian it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all happening. It's all happening. Come on, hold it. Don't do it. All okay, right. that's fine. We're kind of okay that's with fine. the lands because we know it's Karn plus something. And then clearly not going after anything. Land. 
Okay, but we could solitude and make another four, or we could... I can't get the grief. Yeah. I guess we just wait and see. This may be okay, I mean, though. I kind of like solituding and undying you, and then we have... And then we... we, we Draw the no, land. No, no, no. Oh, it's an instant. Oh, I'm so silly. It's an instant. <laughs> We're good. We're fine. I was like, Undying Evil was like, we should do a sorcery speed. I got two. <laughs> Let the rhino be here. Top deck land. Let's We're, go. I'm telling you right now, rhino's not going to win the game. The solitude is. That's fine. Sure. So solitude, Undying Evil, let's win the game. And I'm getting rid of solitude. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We, we, we win here because Undying is kind of play plus one plus one got around it. Let me do my Undying. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care about the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> so, mull to five, got the Greeks, and we would have hit the land. <laughs> they don't know the secret tech. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we were gonna get crushed game two and three. Just no, sure don't the think that way. Crush game two and three. Remember the kids. <laughs> the kids don't care about if we win or lose. The that. kids love Rhino. What are you talking about? This should have been one of the arts from that secret layer, and you know it, hands down. Who doesn't love yeah. Rhino? Yeah. Spike in price. They, when we go back to Carnes of Tark here, like return to Tarkir or whatever, they better make a super beefed up Siege Rhino. I don't care. Like, it better be modern playable. Like, it, it better cost three mana and be like a six, seven or something. Just make this. <laughs> okay, here you go. Four, five. Does everything it does and then has leave the battlefield trigger with Thrag Tusk, you know, stapled on for the... Maybe not a three, three oh. beast, but like a... Maybe, oh. maybe like a two, two beast, you know. Oh my god. I would... And if it was a three drop, oh. Leave the battlefield way. trigger, though. It can't be dice. Graveyard. That's fine. It's LTB. Oh, am, that's. Am I pushing it too hard? What What are we doing here? No. No. Rhino, take an extra turn. <laughs> Rhino, take an extra turn. Yeah. Take an extra two turns. <laughs> this is why I don't work in R&D. Because... <laughs> Siege Rhino you're, enters you're, you're... the battlefield. Cascades with leave the battlefield. Cascade plus... We'll do a 1-1 one, one spirit token. <laughs> it, it escapes for zero, you know, it's... <laughs> oh, no, 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 not escapes. Can, no, can be played from exile. External <laughs> scourge, here we go. External scourge text, yeah. <laughs> can be played from sideboard. <laughs> oh my god, it, it's just your companion? <laughs> yes, you Rhino of them? <sighs> what if Rhino was a companion? How would that be? Okay, real quick. We can go on Rhino Companion, but what are we doing here? We're um. Oh, uh, I thought we were just doing the same. I don't remember. Uh, I just <laughs> uh, fracture Tarak Pulse. Um, we board out the Did one Solitude, one Guardian. Bellador. Like we can probably cut... oh the persist. We cut the persist because they board in relics. And did uh... we hit the Weather Bloom? I think so. I mean, they're not that great on the draw either. Okay. Okay. So yeah, good enough. That's All right. Good. If Rhino was a companion, what would be the what would be the li limiting factor? You know, Luris, two or less, Yorion, eighty card list. Like it just sees Rhino like by itself, like that's the text. It just has a companion clause. Siege it Rhino like, just... you know, but yeah, a companion yeah. that is in the spirit of Siege Rhino. Look at this no do hand. <laughs> yeah, we just mulled in this. You can't play good cards. You can't play good cards. <laughs> that, I already do that, Grace. So I should all imagine just have Siege Rhino as a companion. <laughs> all right. Uh, we have to, I think we have to mulligan aggressively. I think this is the type of hand that just loses. We just had another anonymous donation uh, redeeming that. Incentive for the play, Matt. Thank you, Anonymous. Towards the kids. We're mulliganing this, too? Turn three, so. Liliana's not good enough anymore? We we have to mulligan to grief. I think that's the... There's a thought or Thoughtsies. Or Thoughtsies. Get rid of a Solitude, maybe the Ephemerate. Yeah, I think so. We'll try it. Yeah. And unfortunately, this hand is just not... Um, 
We need a top deck of Tarmogoyf. But right. even then, we don't have the green source for it on turn two, so... Zale, you... you, you, you... Is that a joke? <laughs> you, you know there's incentives, <laughs> right, Zale? <laughs> I, I hope, right, Grace? <laughs> That's right, we're going to bleed Zale dry here. <laughs> They're on the right. I think they're on the right side. My my panel looks a little different than everybody else's because it has like all the donations, information, bars, and a few other things. Oh, you have like a dashboard view. A, a little bit of a dashboard view. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, because I can I can hit like a little thank you to people um, for the incentives. I ask for like information in this case deck list or or addresses, and I get to I get to grab that. Mm. I see. Okay. <laughs> Sale. Well. <laughs> Keep swiping. Uh, <laughs> Why do I have 35,000 transactions on my credit card? <laughs> All right. Guess we thought sees here. Yeah. Maybe maybe we'll get to do some fancy stuff with the grief. Yeah. All right. Oh gosh, the quality just died again. Expit, uh, Oblivion Stone, Chromatic Star, and Chromatic Star. And then what are the last two lands? Uh, uh, Sanctum and a Power Plant. So they will have Tron. Okay, I guess we just take the stone, right? Yeah. Apologies that it's. Hopefully the stream is not dropping. I am, I am streaming to you and streaming to the stream and yeah. recording at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, We're doing computer, a few things. The computer's here. on like overdrive here. <laughs> It's or doing all right. <laughs> yeah. What is that? What's that fire in there? <laughs> <laughs> Why do we spell something burning? <laughs> yeah. Stream's doing fine. Okay. I, I think I think stream. Uh, I know Discord sometimes that's where we're sharing Takeo, so he has the yeah. real time stuff, so he's not in a delay. I'd rather that and you have, you know, most of what's going on. Yeah. It's it's funny because like the I guess it's just because the cards are bigger. Uh, we just go try on pass here. I hope. Uh, but like, I think it's because the cards on your screen are bigger. So I can see the cards in your hand. Okay. But like when you reveal cards from your opponent, I'll have to like squint. Like what is that? <laughs> I, I don't think I can make them much. Yeah. I can't make them any bigger. They're a little smaller. It, it's just like, even if it's bigger, it's just like the text on it. It's just blurry. So like, I can mm -hmm. tell by the art, but I can't tell like that land that our opponent just played since I don't know the art, like the new art, like the promo, like I can't tell. Yeah, but if I blow that, that's really it. well. That's bad because now it's just like one pixel color. <laughs> like, hold on, can you hold that up again? Let me take a picture of it. <laughs> it's just like so bad. <laughs> I'll send it to you on Discord later. <laughs> but it's like, what is that card? <laughs> <sighs> Mr. Kara would be in another room. The latency is minimal and the sound is great. Great, it's good. Good to hear. Play the other star. We want to. We want to hear that. it's my mic. Your mic. Mm. Yeah. All right. Okay, that's not a bad draw. We can grief. We can start hard casting. I guess we could just skyclave the stone. We have to skyclave. We only have two mana. Grief. Oh, we're, I'm just telling you how much I'm. No, what do you mean? What? You have three mana, right? Oh, well, yeah, I play land. The grief's four. Oh, skyclave. I want to skyclave the oblivion. Did yeah. I say grief? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> skyclave the uh, O stone. Yeah. Sorry. We're on the same page. That's what I'm like. Yeah, I'm. I was just like looking at another screen, and I just got distracted. I got too okay. excited about how blurry the Earth is. Mine is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Let's okay. see if they crack the star or not. A little worried about the sanctum and them being at eight mana. Yeah, we... they. Sorry. Oh, we we knew this is a hard matchup. We have yeah. some experience. The fact that we played against Tron twice, kind of sucks but well, that's a good sign well kind of i mean what what they have lamog we're gonna take it here maybe yeah i mean they might put gigantha in hand it's gonna be worth taking the gigantha with the grief so i mean do we need to we have the solitude yeah but then if we um <laughs> uh if we if we um if they top deck anything they're just gonna cast it yeah, I so, mean, we're at that point. It's top deck wars. Yeah, 
Um, yeah, so like the grief is actually losing a lot of value. So them putting a companion in hand like actually gives us a decent value off the off the grief. We at least get to take that. So yeah. Oh, do they have veil? Oh, no, no way. I removed the cards, assuming we were good. Oh, it's okay. They have Gigantha and Sanctum. Yeah. And we have the answer for oh. um, yeah. the one card. I think we're okay. And, he, and even then, there's an argument to not solitude the Gigantha, because they can't block the grief either. And then true. we can just try to race them. That's true. We are at the mercy of this top deck, though. Oh, yeah. 100%. Rampart. I mean, they're not slamming anything. Oh, they don't have green mana. No, they had to do that through the star. Yeah. Okay. I mean, they have. Oh. Okay. Why does the why does why do they always tank before they cast the card? They're tanking because they have another threat here. Hundred oh. percent, you know it. Yeah. Yeah. But we're gonna steal it. Yeah. I mean, if it's cost more than five, it, we can. Just grief oh, it. Oh, 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 no. Now they have green again. So they got okay. Veil again. Uh, All right. We hold the bird in catacombs because they're going to go up with the Karn, play grief. Exactly. See what happens. Watch them exactly. bail us again. <laughs> I mean, we don't deserve God. this. We're playing Siege Rhino. <laughs> Here we oh go. Oh, my God. No. They drew two Veil. Oh. 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 Oh, that means really? they just have lands, right? Uh, yeah, land Gigantha. Interesting. Just a Sanctum. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess they're protecting Karn so they can down tick on this, maybe. I, they might up tick. Just to up the loyalty. Right. So I think you're right about keeping the Catacombs in hand. I think that's a good line. Mm hmm. Well, all right. I really, when they floated green again, I was like, <laughs> doing it to us again. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> this isn't a good sign. Are we going to be packing up going to game three? Yeah. Okay. I tried making the possibly actually printed new siege right now. Let me hear it, Zale. Let me hear uh, it. Above the Rampart Pactor. Oh. oh. Enters or leaves the battle for each of loses time you gain two life. Three three. Make it a four four and we got a deal, Zale. <laughs> you could probably you could probably do a four four only because um it's three colors. Man, they're just they're I mean just... look at look at Omnath. True. It's four colors. There's a relic. So yeah. so 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 this new rampart pachyderm should be uh, it draws a car when it ETBs, and it should make a Thrak Tusk one one when it when it leaves the battlefield. Then we got a deal. All right, they did go up. Burn catacombs. Yeah, yeah. you have a Maya unknown card. Ooh. We can hit Karn for five. Yeah, they go down to two. If we draw a land, we can solitude. That's awkward. Well, it's awkward, but I don't know. They they try to kill something here. I guess I'm holding everything still. I think so. Because, like, is there a line where we want to crack the clearing? I don't think so, right? I think we want to hard cast Solitude, right? Just have another clock. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We'll take Undying Evil. It's gone. Mm hmm. The hardest thing here. I don't know if there was maybe a crack silent clearing, find something for the Solitude, put the Solitude in, and Undying it so that we can kill Karn. Oh, like try to draw a white source. White source, man. But then if we miss the white source, we're down a land. Yeah. I don't know. That's definitely the higher ceiling play. And I think that's correct just because we're so behind. I think I think that is actually the correct line. Just to go for it and it's like Hail Mary, yeah. okay, if we miss. Yeah. Apparently all like, my they're not drawing any. Yeah, exactly. Like all we we need to end the game now, and that's that's a that's one way to do it. We top deck resto though, and oh, oh, oh. okay. 
Okay. I mean, if we draw an untapped land, we can um, flash into solitude at mm -hmm. the end of their turn. Okay. All right. We're making a crack this. Oh, but then they get the 3-3 three, three off the Oblivion, off the Skyclave Apparition. But then we can insultude it away. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, they I could crack. see this Blast Zone going up to 4. Three. I mean, luckily we're at 3, 4, and 5 for our Blast Zone here. They're going to put a Fake Counter over here. Mm. Okay, but we can... Mm, oh, we don't quite kill it, do we? No. So now they just, like... Now they get everything, because now they can Karn Plus and then uh, Crack Stone. We so can like, Crack Stone we have to solve in response. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Which made... I mean, we didn't do it before, but we may have to do it here. I, I, <laughs> Ancient Strain finds Ulamog, down tick, and we just, like, go to game three. Yeah. And to, to respond to you, Zale, I think... That is probably a good middle ground. Um, just like a three mana three three drain two is probably like on uh, it's that's a balanced card, right? With kind of how the evolution of Siege Rhino is. I feel like flavor wise they might go bigger and make a bigger Siege Rhino. They might make like a five mana one, which probably wouldn't be modern playable, unfortunately. Okay, we can get rid of that. Ooh. I mean, we're not making the discard. They're about to owe stone and have worm coil engine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think I think that's a reasonable card to print sale for sure. And it doesn't even have to be in cons of Tarkir, like return to it or whatever. I don't think if we I don't mean, top being able to... here, we're gonna go to the next game. Yeah. We just can see that at this point. If we don't draw anything, you're right. Blink shenanigans enters and leaves. That's true. Man, you mm. blink that and it's a it's a Boros charm with Helix stapled to it. Yeah. All right. If we were to play the lands, let's, let's... solid to the worm coil. You want to keep playing? Might as well. Because we could draw a vindicate for the Karn next turn. And then draw a threat, like a rhino or something. And, and we have, we, like, we're not, we're a low percentage to win this game, but not. Do I wait? Do the I fact know? that we have, yeah, we, we, we flash it in, I think. Yeah, we're pretty low percentages, oh. but we know what we got to do. Yeah, we have a plan. <laughs> it's not like we're a zero percenter. We have to go. Um, pulse into threat. Because they could down tick Karn here to get rid of Solitude. Mm -hmm. They just go up. You know? <laughs> They're going to restart the game. <laughs> <laughs> What's under that? It's a Grief. We have a Grief, Turok. Verdant, oh, Undying, okay. and Torok. All right. Okay. We have a I pop we could clearing. crack the clearing. Yeah. Pulse. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I guess we just play the Goyf. Do we want to show the Goyf? I don't think we've shown a Goyf so far. Oh, you want to just pack it in? I'm I okay with so. packing it. I mean, we have a Karn at nine. We missed. They down tick here, or they down tick on the, the Goyf. They're just hitting us. They put this on two, actually. Kill the Goyf, down tick yeah, here, yeah, hit us yeah. for eight. We're at one. Yeah. <clears throat> Reveal the next card, though. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. You just saved us, like, 15 minutes. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any any changes? Um, I don't think so. Oh, we also had Fractures at outs, too. Mm, yeah, we do. Well, I, I thought we that's what outs. you meant when you said Vindicate, because we... Yeah, we have the Pulse, but we have yeah, the Fracture. Yeah. All right, we're on the play. I think we're, we're sending it back. Yeah, let's just try it again. Find that grief, strip the hand, yeah. win the game. It's that easy. <laughs> All right. Oh. 
this is the type of hand where like we always want to be on the play, but this is the type of hand where like we, I wish we knew if our opponent was gonna mulligan. Because if we mulligan, I feel like we would keep this hand yeah. and we can like decay a map on the play. But on the like, but when we're on the play, we don't have any information. This is like in a vacuum a mulligan, but like it's so close. Cause like this hand can theoretically beat a like exp a hand that like relies on expedition map because we just decay the map, slam the goif, and like go ham on it. All right, let's go super high ceiling here. If we top deck a grief in the first two and we have an abrupt decay to get rid of the map, we have the Torok and we take it over from their cards. Yeah, we we dream. I like dreaming. We're all about dreaming here. Yeah, we. I, but if their if their hand is like a scrying hand, and we're like that, we are kind of in a pickle. Oh, totally. Yeah. Here we go. But this hand is like, ooh, okay, decay. We could decay the relic, I guess. Yeah, but why? We get the well, it shakes our play, right? Play the high ceiling. Oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah, let's do let's do that. I mean, our yeah, we we have undying, but we have actually ephemerate in hand right now. Uh, they have ways to yeah. kill this, but if they're killing that, fine. It's like buying us a turn. Yeah. Like yeah, Tarmogoyf's kind of like sucky into the relic, but I don't think we're worried about that just yet. So okay. do they have natural Tron here? It looks like it. Oh. Okay. Grief. Wrong elemental. <laughs> Wrong elemental. Oh. <laughs> It's close. <laughs> okay. Well, we are attacking. We don't even have... Yeah. I mean, we play the Goyf, and then if they slam a Planeswalker, we could wrist and sack one of our creatures. Yeah. I like it. We do need that extra land here. But I'm not too worried a lot of spears makes me think they might have natural charm but they they prioritize this relic for some reason i feel like they have natty tron based on relic into star spear or they have a sylvan scrying over there yeah God, but then they would have sylvan scrying on turn two right yeah they they prioritize putting a relic into play so that if we had the undying right oh that's true they were they were more worried about that. Yeah. Which is fair. Alright. Grief. Or land. Lots of would also be good too. Okay. Okay, we gotta land. Or land. Okay. So I think we just attack first and then wrist. We could. We could leave up. Abrupt decay as well. Oh. They're doing something here. Probably crack the relic, yeah. Which is why I wanted to save the grist after they crack it, because then we can grow the goif after. Yeah, I like I like this play, and I like playing just grist here. Don't worry about the star. Yeah. Let's grow. Okay. So we mill the resto. That's actually good. Mm -hmm. We right. didn't want to draw the resto anyway. We don't need resto. Oh, but we have a clock. If they just go like worm coil, we can solitude it. Yeah, we're not looking super bad here. Them cracking the stars good for us. Well, it doesn't do anything, right? It's just draw yeah. and make green mana. It just means that their hand has no payoffs. So if they draw into this, so are they tanking here? That's a good sign. Yeah. So they have seven, eight, nine mana. That's not a good sign. Ooh. <laughs> but why wow, play the relic that's... first, right? You know. Yeah. If you if you were gonna that's... pop this here. Yeah, the sequencing is a little weird. All right. I guess unless they knew they're gonna. Oh, so they're just gonna do everything just anyway. Doing everything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do we need here? We need a grief. A grief is still good, really good here. Mm -hmm. A grief might actually help us win this game. If we don't draw a grief, we might be in a pickle. Thoughtseize is okay too. All right, that's as that's long as they point. only have one payoff. <laughs> as long as they don't have any other payoff. Okay. Mm. I mean, we went super high ceiling here, so. 
Uh, All right, pack it in, Fluffy. Just pack it in. <laughs> just pack it in. <laughs> just, laugh. just pack it in. Just, just pack it in. Just pack it in. Yeah. Okay. Just we'll concede. <laughs> I'll concede for you. There's our green. Oh, I mean, that wouldn't have mattered, right? Oh, no, we could have taken both cards, and then we had the solitude for the worm coil engine. Hmm. But then we don't have a white card for the solitude because we're ephemerating. Yeah, we are ephemerating, so the solitude really doesn't. There's a white card. What's up, Evan? <laughs> How's it going, Evan? This is good suspense, though. Win, loss. I mean, win. It, I feel loss. like praying Tron is like always kind of exciting because you always want to see if they turn the corner, and they usually do. But like until they do, it's pretty exciting. True. True. Yeah. Very true. I think. But, I, I mean, think we could tune this a little bit if we. I mean, you know. Just play Blood Moon, obviously. But no, <laughs> you could play like Void Mirrors. You could you could attack their land. I, I think with the Undying, the uh, Rebirth, and the, even the Persist, I like the idea of Fulminator. If you did that, yeah. I would I would entertain maybe some like Birds of Paradise or something to, to help. It's just unfortunate that we just ran into Tron twice. We did. Like, it's our only I, losses. So you're just telling me that... Yeah. And, and realistically, I, I don't recall drawing Rhino in the Tron matchup. <laughs> we, lo there's... we lost our key to the matchup <laughs> <laughs> Same. i mean it's i mean we we, we beat yogmoth and i forget what our first match was but like the deck feels good and like non-tron matchups where the matchup is like one of the worst we played the jun lurus so. opponent <laughs> yeah and then the, and it gets the jun lurus opponent like i felt like our deck was just over the top of them so oh it was we won with ryan yeah <laughs> we definitely we that, was, that was worth it that was just completely worth it exactly cascade travel rhino so you're saying i need to have violent outburst uh another cascade spell and siege rhino in it all in the same deck just so you have rhino travel rhino is all the way okay Ooh. okay and it's a Laris opponent a here's our chance to three two with the list <laughs> we're keeping this, yeah, this right good hand yeah, pitch the. I feel like we've been pitching Liliana a lot. I think Do we pitch the Rhino like... here. We could. We could sacrifice I... dear Rhino here. I think we pitch the Rhino here because we we're actually closer to cast Liliana than the the Rhino. I'm gonna start with the Godless as well. I'm good with the mm -hmm. the Rhino here. Yeah. Sorry, Siege Rhino. This is all you're useful for. <laughs> Check. All right. Oh, burn. Burn. Well, I feel a little awkward shocking With in, but RSC. It's okay. I okay. Mean... So we can take two things. They only have one land. One land. What are we wanting? I don't care about the lava spike. No. Searing blaze and helix. We have to... are my thoughts, but I mean, we have two answers to the Darcy, right? Exactly. So, see, drawing no good in this matchup, by the way. <laughs> I I think I agree with you. I think we take the two removal spells for the grief, which would mm -hmm. be the blaze and the helix. We're okay with taking a little more damage from the Boros charm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I they, think I go helix blaze. They gotta they gotta get to him too. Yeah, and we I mean, are that's stealing argument. something else next turn, possibly, which is. But they get to like theoretically ball trick themselves too, so it's like I, I'm banking well, on them drawing a land. Okay, so bobble trick them and stuff. Do we take bobble here with ephemerate uh, coming off rebound? Ooh, that's a good line. I think I like. Oh, we can also just take Darcy then too, because then they don't have. Um, then they just don't have any threats. I mean, and, I'm not and then so, worried, so and, we have the Skyclave. But then if we don't draw a third land, that Darcy's like really troublesome, right? Because then they start, um, uh, like, being able to, like, tune their top of the deck, too. I mean, we could take the Darcy and leave him with a Bobble. Or, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I sort of like the idea of taking the Bobble here as a thing with the Darcy. Okay. They're going to choose Darcy or the... Okay, let's take the Bobble, then. That way, we're not having to deal with as much of the the cards here when we rebound. Yeah. 
Because I think this just fetches and it's just Darcy like immediately. And they're gonna get like one yeah. surveil out of it and we're gonna we're gonna just top deck. It's gonna be great. I hope so. I mean if we can draw straw a, a black source for the Liliana, that'd be the most ideal. Okay. So we will Greyest answer that. happen. <laughs> and we're definitely doing this. I mean another yeah. card out of here is good. Alright, we got double Boros charm. We have a lava spike. So are we good with taking yeah, we, eight or are we? I think so. I think we just take the blaze. Yeah. All right. Because like we we we, we got to keep our clock oh. in play. Oh, perfect. We're looking great. Yeah. So now they're incentivized to spike us and then they surveil hoping to find their land. I think they're going to, you know, they kept the one lander. Yeah. We know how that works. Yeah. Oh, all right. But they have Boros Charm or Lava Spike here. Well, they spike, I think, for Delirium. They should spike for Delirium, mm -hmm. even though it's not man the least man intensive. And then I guess we go Skyclave. Yeah, because I think we want to be using Liliana Uptick to to pressure them exactly. to not to play everything at instant or at sorcery speed. Exactly. Why is Evan asking me about the blood moons I'm playing? Oh, they do lava spike. All right. So we go to 12 here, mm -hmm. we go to eight, then we just literally plus. Yeah. Oh, Evan, I would, I, you could play the new uh, double masters blood moons. They're nice looking too, especially if you want to stay in the foil. The dark doesn't have foils. All right, we're getting hit for three. No, you can't keep that back. I think, I think I like my. I think I have eighth edition as my pick for blood moons. Okay, I think they're bad. all. Yeah, I think we just skycliff here for the clock. Yep, I agree. Skyclave, smash in. Let's raise them. We are taking eight. We go to, we go to eight, but then. If we probably just discard the other like within the command draining two is actually decent too. Mm -hmm. So uh, the fact, but the problem is we might have to discard it to this Liliana because we're definitely Liliana plusing to take the other Boros charm. Yeah, especially since they just did a bobble. Now they'll depending on when they do this bobble because they're worried about a thought seize. This Liliana is going to save us four life here. Yeah. Oh, I think we just it's the yeah, Restoration Angel, right? Or do you okay. want to keep the resto? Well, let's see here. We're going to eight. Yeah. So eight. And if we were to gain two, the problem is if we were to gain two and lose one on fetch, it's still nine, three spells. Restoration yeah. Angel using grief might be worth it. Saves also something off of Searing Blaze. Yeah. Okay. So you want to keep the resto? I wonder if the two matters here because we're going to hit for five, ten, then they'd be at mm -hmm. four. I guess it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. The train doesn't matter. So, okay, let's so go to eight. Yeah, so -jibis. they still require. Sorry? Heebie Jeebies donating, getting that sign mountain. <laughs> so if you donate. If you do the forty-five dollar option, do you also get the subsequent tiers that are lower it. So, do you get the Cyan Mountain too, or no? Uh, no, I, I didn't. I, at least I didn't word it, and I hope no one's thinking they're getting all of them because then you would get a donation list, you would get a pin, and you would get uh, the Cyan Mountain. Uh, I see, I see, I see. Details, the details. The idea is that if you can't give, you know, higher amounts, you could get something small or something like that if, if you like. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. That's it's cool. Odyssey 344. <laughs> All right, they've got one in hand here. I mean, we attack first, I think, and see if they do anything. Mm hmm. They have to go end step bolt, crack canyon end of turn, and then draw into double bolt. They have to do that, or they like that's their only line. They're four. So we can just. I think it's a free uptick, right? 
I don't know. Is it uh, they top decked the land and so they're gonna crack Sunbake Canyon trying to hit here? I think it. I think if they if they have a land in hand, that's then it incentivizes us to plus us Liliana because they can play the land and go. Um, oh, but then they can't double bird spell because they wouldn't have double searing blaze. But if they do the one searing yeah. blaze, they can knock us and we can't kill them. If I were to shock in here, I think that's the worst thing we could do. And we've already seen two Boros you, charms. Yeah, you definitely don't shock. Well, Just like, is this is this restoration going to do anything? Here? So, all right. Here's the other plan here. We shock. We could shock and not Lily. Our opponent I don't sun think bakes. Do. In response to the sun bake at the end step, we resto grief to hopefully take a two mana spell. We're at six and we'll hope they don't have two one one drops. Is that too much? I don't I think that's too much because then then they only need two burn spells versus if we're at eight, they re it requires three. All right, so we're going I up here to Jane Temple Garden. I guess so. Or do you want to go up with restoration? No, no, no. We we, we play the Temple Garden tapped and we plus Liliana and then we and then top we deck draw Rhino. Rhino next turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're top decking Rhino here for the win. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it's it's unlikely they have the last two here. All right, they skull oh, crack us. Yeah. So now so that, I, that's now that's good. game. Yeah, this game's over. Oh, I guess not. They could theoretically like bolt the Skyclave, and then they go to one. Sunbake Canyon draws a land, plays the land, um, and Searing Blazes something to give them one more turn is an out. That is not an out, though. That's game over. That's game over. Liliana. Mm -hmm. Getting it done okay. here. Yep. Rhino. Oh, sweet justice. Oh, please. Okay. Uh, that would have been good. That, okay. <laughs> okay. But Liliana getting it here. Okay. Yeah, Liliana was... <sighs> Liliana won this the game. Okay. With the grief. Like, all those cards just played such a good role. Like, Kai Scholar just... Ooh, and the pulse or the the chalice is interesting. Mm. Okay, I like just these four. Yeah, I don't know if we really need the abrupt decays. I kind of just like taking really the, the thought seize out. Maybe I don't here. like grist. I think grist is um, a little too slow. We can do something like this. We can even like take a feldar out and get one abrupt decay in. Yeah, I like adding the second decay. Let's see just here for um, yeah. I mean, they have no idea we have rhinos. We just want to get to four mana here. We could also like trim Coif is a resto. Rhino. We could trim a rest. Uh, sorry, we could trim a. Oh, do we want persist though? I think the game is too slow for persist. I think I want. Or yeah, I think the. Sorry, the game is too fast for persist. I think okay. we cut the persist and add the two decays. So I don't think we do persist because if we do a solitude very quickly, we can persist out the solitude, creating a blocker. I know that they might have Searing Blaze, but that also gets rid of a creature again. Mm. So you want to keep the Persist. What, Fluffy, what card did we pitch to Grief? The other Liliana. <laughs> this is Liliana. That's this Rhino's name. We name our <laughs> Rhinos here. <laughs> Lily Rhino. I think this is probably fine enough. Okay, that's fine. I just, I just would like more answers to. I guess we already have Skyclave and Liliana. We have Skyclave. You know what? That's fine. I can drop like a Resto or a Persist. I, I can do that. Let's do that. Okay. Let's do that. Let's let that. I think that's a good compromise. Yeah. <laughs> a little compromise. A little fluffy diamond KO wolf compromise. Compromise. Yeah. Hey, we talked about playing Burn. That's all we wanted to play. So. Well, that's an easy mulligan. You, <laughs> like, you don't like, cast you don't like hard casting solitude on turn five. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is definitely uh, intriguing. Yeah. Do we keep this? Keep it and hope they have a creature heavy hand. I mean, if they so, right? don't, we can still get a solitude in and. And, all. Yeah, and just start getting life. I actually, yeah, that's a really good line. I think I like that. Do we just, just ditch the resto from the resto? Yeah, yeah. 
Because like we could just flash in the solitude and a turn and then just like gain three. Yeah. I mean they, and they then can just make them do bolt it or whatever, and that's gaining three. Yeah. That way too. Mm -hmm. Let's see a goblin guide right here. I think that'd be the best thing to see. Don't talk I mean about if they blaze a solitude. The thing though is like if they like go two mana pass, then we just won't solitude. Like we will be reactive with the solitude plan because mm -hmm. if like if they play an idol on then we solitude ephemerate and then we just like gain three back and like that's how we win the game but if they like go like turn one spike turn two pass then we're not going to do anything like we're yeah. just gonna then they're not doing anything and we're we're progressing our game plan of just thawing the game out all right there's a darcy i mean that you know mm. it's a good start it's a creature yeah. i think this is a little bit of a weaker version of burn you're you're, you're i think so too bottles. i don't think they want yeah i agree i don't think they want darcy if they're replacing like Swift Spear with Darcy, I think that's kind of a downgrade. Okay. You want to do this off a of silent clearing if we do anything? Yeah. Yeah. I think that makes it less obvious that we have a plan or anything. Yeah. If we shock in Godless Shrine, I think it's. I really hope they go Eidolon, attack with Darcy. We solitude it, and then we <laughs> block the Darcy. You're dreaming Please. here. <laughs> Please. And, and Please. You, you, you tell me you give up on Rhino, and here you are dreaming for the, like, Christmas land. Perfect. That's not Christmas land. That's not Christmas land. Watch. It's not Christmas land. This. Yeah, we're taking one damage here. Or are they going to play another Darcy, and we're going to solitude it? Oh, my oh. gosh. Don't oh. ride a line. Oh, Don't do it, oh, opponent. Watch, watch this. Watch. Okay. Oh. Like, That's I think we can still solitude now. Oh, yeah. We definitely solitude. Uh, it's just a matter of if we ephemerate. I think we do. Are we solituding leaving ourselves ephemerate, or are we solituding giving ourselves a second solitude later? Mm. I think I want solitude, exile, solitude, have ephemerate, and then have the next ephemerate. Attack and then we can defend our ephemerate. I agree. We're probably not gaining much life here, but I mean, we get to gain life on this um, on our right turns here. attack step. Yeah, yeah, because we're not gonna rebound the ephemerate. Exactly. Oh, so, yeah. I'm sure. Practicing how to do all this because we're gonna rebound here, so we keep it around. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then here. now we can Bam. protect our solitude from uh, seeing blaze too. Mm -hmm. I like that. So. Yeah. So we take one and then we go back up to 20. Nope. Uh, we're not going to cast that. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, Rhino, why would you do that? <laughs> why would you come right now? <laughs> this is showing it's forecasting, foreshadowing the future here. <laughs> All right. So now what they're going to do is they're going to Darcy and then Bolt to try to get value off the Darcy and we're going to ephemerate the Solitude. There's the land drop. <laughs> that kind of spoils my oh we are in such a good Peace. spot right now i almost just want to take it and work our way to rhino ephemerate really i think i like or we can ephemerate right mm -hmm. now that does the same actually ephemerate now and then they have to burn another spell yeah i like i like ephemerating it They'll get it, opponent. It's like we're in, we're so far off casting this right now. And this is a clock. I know they can prevent it, but it's a clock. There you go. Save like we six. just took two bolts. Yeah, like Woo! I'll that, that exchange. We essentially like the solid dude gained us three life. What's a rhino sound like? We need a rhino cheer. <laughs> <laughs> Lava spikes us. Okay. Okay. We take our damage. We need a great source for this Tarbogoyf. That would end the. So let me teach you something here. When you draw that, you go. You learn. You learn something today. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't take your input. Did you want this chalice on zero for Bobble? I can. I can <laughs> concede. <laughs> we just need a green source. Yeah, we, we are. Well, they also put Luris in hand. Have they so... put Luris in hand? They're going to this turn. That's fine. We can beat Luris. We really need a green source. Okay, there's Luris. Chalice zero to take six. <laughs> there you go. Green source. I I kind of want to crack the clearing here. Yeah. 
we need a, if we draw trial, we can just <laughs> woo cash that in for that godless shrine. Oh my goodness. Okay, but it, uh, it their turns Luris. We're we are we are doing fine. You're doing fine. You want a magical is Christmas? Vortex symmetrical. Yes. Oh, do you not have the card command? It is, so they can't bobble. Oh, does their opponent know that though? I hope they bobble. Oh, bobble, please. Bob. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, <laughs> that hurt opponent. <laughs> They're not gonna do that again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even well, want to. I mean, track they get it. to gain three back with the lurist. But yeah, but still, green swords. Come on. Come on, Dak. Yeah, we need to be able to block the Solaris. Green source. Please. Mm, oh, okay. That's so close. All right, oh, we can take God. a land next turn. Come on. <laughs> we're close. We're close. Obviously, they're not going to so bobble close. anymore. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. They might next turn. <laughs> They bobble again. I think they'll lose. <laughs> they can't do that. Oh my god, this game is so funny. This is a good one. We do seriously need to draw a green source or a land here, though, because this Luris can actually win the game with the combination of like another Searing Blaze or like a Bro's Charm or something. Yeah. No, no, we, definitely. We gotta, yeah, we gotta hope that their hand is just all one drops. For sure, for sure. Nope, they're doing something here. They got a two drop. Boros Charms oh. to double strike. Oh. Now they can play Bobble. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good. Pretty good. That's a cool line. I like that line. That's a good one. Do they yeah. want to Bobble now? <laughs> land. We do need this land bad. Okay. So. So we can't gain life. Well, so do we... if they crack a Sunbake Canyon at end step, we could go for it there. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to at least go to end step here. I'm not so worried about mm -hmm. them casting Bobble again. Mm -hmm. Come on. Cash in that Sunbaked. Oh, that's so clutch for us. Okay, okay. This is all right, though. So... Oh, that's so good. We we just gain four and sac make yeah. them sack. Sacrifice a creature and gain four. Yeah, so we go to four. We do have to take one after here. This. Yeah, so we go, we go, we go to, yeah, we go to four after all of this, which is fine. Like they need to draw another Boros Charm. Mm -hmm. This Chalice is doing a lot of work. Oh yeah, we well, we're going to three, so they don't need a Boros Charm because of the royal rolling four times. Oh. So we need basic fours for Rhino. Oh. oh, okay, never mind. Just they just have it. Sure, they just have it. But they don't know about Rhino. <laughs> we're going to game four. The secret tech's all intact. All right. I mean, we're on the play. This matchup obviously is a lot easier as you'd expect. So yeah. Do we want another decay in here anywhere over maybe the persist? The, I think so. Just because like under the answer to the roiling vortex is going to be good. Yeah, so. and I didn't expect the roiling. <laughs> uh, we're good yeah. with this. Send it back. Yeah, let's go for the three two here. Come on. All right, deck. Let's go. Play first. It was a little rough. We we did stumble. And considering we have, what, 25 lands? A little, little surprise in there. All right. We oh, that's so tough. Do we really want to pitch a highest guy to this grief? Yikes. I mean, but we get, like, three things of grief if we take one drops that don't hurt us. Yeah, I, I think we do the four lands it. this just... time. Yeah, we do definitely do it. It just feels not the greatest. Like, Kai's Gals are so good in this matchup. It does everything we want it to. Well, and if they have Royal and we can kind of ignore it, probably. Yeah, that's true. Just let them do that. All mm -hmm. right, let's see what you got, opponent. We got it's creature of... heavy. Yeah. All right. So we just take... We take two of the creatures, and then we take the Boros Charm off the rebound yep. so what's the what's the worst creature um the best creature for us might be goblin guide actually so you want to leave him with goblin guide yeah let him uh, let him attack us for two it trims any lands off the top i think the swift spear gets kind of a little bit awkward if they double spelled at any point 
Um, if they got like a bobble, it may, maybe not a problem. But I think we leave them with Goblin Guide. I don't know. Okay. Do you think the two damage that. is going to really punish us? Because if be. we took Goblin then... Guide and Darcy, the Swiss Spear is not attacking. We already have our land. I mean, worst case, worst case scenario, we just block the Goblin Guide with the Grief. So I think I agree with you. Okay. And we can wait to block. We'll take two. Mm -hmm. We're going to put like burn in, fetch, tap. Land. We could also just. We could also just take the guy because the Swiss Bear only attacks for one. Let's take the guy. Yeah, let's take the guide actually. Because like we don't need land drops either. And then they have to. If, they, if they're drawing spells, they have to do it main phase for them to grow the Swiss Spear. And I think this is worth our rebound here. Yes, 100%. They don't attack. Wait, they can't attack, right? Oh, yeah, they can't attack. I'm, I'm, I need some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And we'll Another do grief. Burden Catacombs. We'll plan to get our Triome. All right. They got lands. That's what they have. Yep. Yeah. I mean, this grief is has Luris written all over it, so I don't think we play the grief until they put Luris in hand, which is I think they're going to be their this is going to be their plan. I'm totally down with that. And if they attack, we're blocking. It's, it's yeah obvious. Give me, give me. The thing is, like, do we attack? Do we race? Never mind. That's easy. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we're killing. Yep. Yeah. Answered a question for us. Killing and swinging. What? Right. Yeah. We're at, we're at turn three, and we're still at 17 life. They're probably going to put Luris in hand, and we're going to grief it away. Like, this is so good. This is... This is... This is borderline garbage time here. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, the only way they get out of this is they... Okay, that's perfect, because that means they're going to put Luris in hand. No, like, the only way garbage they get out of this is they go blaze. Garbage yeah. time is Luris to hand, and we don't even yeah. uptick because we're playing land because we have Rhino in hand. <laughs> I like the way you think. We know it's I mean, two like, sunbakes, by the way. I shouldn't have said garbage time because if they had searing blades, they would have done that, and then like we can't grief the lures. But it's like the 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 way this game is played out, and I think now we're at the point of garbage time. Rhino, okay, not quite. Close. But we can we can go up with the Liliana. Yeah. Uh do we though? Why like, not? What if we draw solitude? What is that card? Helix. Helix. Oh. Oh yeah. Then we definitely lost that. Never mind. One less redraw for them. Yeah. Liliana yep, being yep. at two is good for an edict effect. I mean. Yep. 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 One hundred percent. Something went away. We're attacking. We're ahead on clock. Helix has to probably hit grief here. Yeah. Come on, Rhino. <laughs> Poetic justice is what you're saying. Is, is is the rhino off the top? We're at 17 life and it's turn four. It's crazy. Rhino and they'll hard concede. I promise you. Elixing a grief is so good for us. 100%. This Lurus is gone too. Rhino. Okay. I mean, we could attack just to see. Mm -hmm. Do we plus Lee here? I don't think so. I don't think so either. We'll just save our grief here if we need to. Yeah, I think I think we want to prioritize keeping the grief in play. Okay. Okay. Because now we're racing here, so we kind of need to keep the grief. Yeah, around. We're, we're racing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hurt to hold a card here too. Then we can start mm -hmm. re-upticking with Liliana. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Crack and clearing is fine. Mm -hmm. This is close. Yeah, this is a close game. I definitely was a little uh, too aggressive with my garbage garbage time comment. <laughs> we could ephemerate the grief now. I think we though. ephemerate and I... kill the Swiss spear. Yeah. Like most of their stuff is instant speed. Yeah, this is just 
I don't know what it was attacking, but like if it was attacking Liliana, worth it. If we're attacking like but if they're either attacking Liliana or Grief, it's like worth it. Oh, we just get a clock. That's perfect. Yeah, that's like that's fine. That's like perfect. E exactly. Extra grief. Yeah. Uptick, swing. Yep. See what they can do here. All right. Mm. Still looking at for that rhino. <laughs> Dude, if we got right off the top, just for the win, that'd be absurd. I would lose. That would be the, the perfect bookend here. <laughs> I mean, we, I mean, we're already like, this is already Come garbage on. time, but it would be a very good way to end the game. Moto, one time. Come on, Rhino. Where are you at, Rhino? Moto. Moto? Oh my <laughs> goodness gracious, I'm done. Just leave, just leave. <laughs> we're getting there. Oh my god! <laughs> we did it! Oh my gosh! Oh. <laughs> Ready for your screenshot? Oh my god! Ah. So good, Rhino. So good. <laughs> What's that gonna Other do? Other following in response <laughs> just to just to get the info. Oh, oh my goodness! I'm kind of glad they didn't bobble on our upkeep because they wouldn't they would have just conceded on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. There we go. I appreciate our opponent letting us resolve the trigger. <laughs> resolve the trigger. Three, oh two. God. Totally I'll worth it. it. Match one, match five. Rhino getting there. That a bookend was the perfect way for you to to to, to <laughs> was the perfect explanation of that. It was. Know? You tell me that Magic Online is not listening to the streamers sometimes. <laughs> Just tell me that. <laughs> oh my god, that was so funny. That was like perfect. So good. <laughs> it couldn't have been written right. any better. I oh love this god. list. I don't care if it I, I don't care if it won four. This list was fun. <laughs> I mean, it did everything we wanted it to. We got to Grief turn one, Karmogoyf aggressively on turn two, and then we attack with Grief a couple times, Rhino for the win, got to resto a couple things. Uh, Solitude didn't shine a little. I mean, Solitude that last match, game one, like we just attacked for three, and that did a lot. Yeah. So yeah, it did. Every, every aspect of the deck pulled weight for sure. Oh, I 100% agree. I think if, if there was anything, I, I know some people didn't like resto and Felidar. I could see Felidar. I, I put it in there because of the Planeswalkers. You could probably trim a Felidar, but I think the Resto was actually pretty good with some of the Skyclaves and stuff. Witherbloom or Persist, I think we're balancing between two ideas of a graveyard list versus, um, you know, all of our ephemerates and, and kind of flicker effects too. So, yeah. I mean, like, I think you could tune this. I think if anyone wants to take this list, definitely go for it. Think of it as the black white ephemerate list and throw out the stoneforge package and put in all your favorite green green cards <laughs> why do you always got to trash stoneforge mystic why do you have to do that <laughs> cuz i think i think so two things i'll trash here stoneforge mystic i respect it but i think sometimes it's a little slow and still overrated and the other thing although if you're playing the griefs and solitudes you won't have to worry about this Luris, you could probably get Luris in here with a Tarmogoyf and do a little bit of this like unearth use your graveyard, but then also have the real high yeah. top end here. No, I think the general idea you have with the shell is I think has some legs here, right? Like outside of the, like look at the matchups that we beat and lost to. We lost to Tron twice, which you know that's kind of what you can expect. Mm -hmm. But we can fix like that we too. played Yeah, we could. But then the matches that we won, we beat Jund, uh, we beat Burn, like we beat Yogmoth, like very like tier one decks that, and it's not like we got like we, our decks power level was decently high, and I think that just shows the power level of like these free elementals of Solitude and Grief and being able to like, uh, ephemerate them or you know Undying Evil them, um. So I think that shell of like Rhino being able to pitch to both elementals, having both of them with Resto, Tarmogoyf has a quick clock. Uh, I like the and Skyclave Tarmogoyf. apparition. Yeah, I think Tarmogoyf just having that quick clock. Um, again, like, as I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, where the black white ephemerate list that 
kind of consistently five O's. I've played that a couple times, and I think my biggest knack against it, it doesn't have that clock. Mm, yeah. Uh, sometimes you you know interact really early, and then anyone that plays thought sees, uh, they know that your opponent can just top deck a threat or a removal spell, and then you kind of back to square one. Mm. So you kind of want to kill your opponent fast before they you know they're li- less likely to do that, and that's the kind of role that Tarmogoy fits. Yeah, um, I totally but, agree. Like, I th- but I think overall the shell is there. Like I don't think you want to drastically change too much because we witnessed how, you know, well the deck kind of plays out. Even with kind of these, um, fun of slots that we're kind of trying out. Like you wanted to try the Witherbloom Command. You wanted to try out the Felidar Guardian, um, and you could argue that if they didn't even pull weight, like we still, you know, won some matches even with those cards in the deck. And you could kind of move things around, try other pieces. But like I think that main shell, I think there is something there. I think, and I, correct me if I'm wrong, Persist could get a Grist here, right? If it's in the graveyard. Because it's a creature. Uh, yes, it can. All right. I, I think, think so. I'm check the wording. if there was one place to explore this list, where I would take it from here, is I would go two different directions. I would stick with your big end, top end, your Siege Rhinos, all of that. And I think Siege Rhino belongs in both because as much as we meme on Siege Rhino, it pitches to both Solitude and Grief. I think it gives you the consistency of both your elementals, which mm-hmm. are clearly very powerful. Mm-hmm. I would explore Tarmogoyf, Loam, and Persist package here and drop maybe Thoughtseize, Liliana, Beldar Guardian, maybe one Resto or something, and see what a graveyard version looks like. And then on the flip mm-hmm. side, I would get rid of the Wither Blooms, bring the Tarmogoyf in, get rid of the Persist and do something more on the top end, maybe in the three slot, Liliana's more Grists, um, maybe a Flicker mm-hmm. Wisp. I don't know, something something in that direction, kind of like there's your pivot. Well, looking up Persist, it says return target non-legendary creature and oh, Grist, since they read at the Planeswalkers, they're a legendary. True. Well. So true. unfortunately we can't Persist it. But that being said, like we could, it does point. provide some late game value. Um, we got to persist back. I forget what we persisted. I think we persisted back a grief or something, right? Like it was. It wasn't bad. It was a skyclave. Yeah, like it wasn't. We, we bad. did skyclave once. And I think we did grief once too. Yeah, you're right. Uh, the legendary claws. I I I think yeah. of vesper lark. I mean vesper lark. We get a grist back. Just saying. Drop that one there. <laughs> <laughs> we can all dream here. Abzan is probably one of my favorite three color combinations. I think that's why we get along. I think Mardu's there. I've never been so I've never been really attracted to Jund and, and and maybe it's just because the white gives it the splash, but I'm not a I'm not repelled by Stoneforge Mystic. I just I think that forces you into a hole that you you can't explore beyond that. It takes up so much of your deck to do the Stoneforge package. Yeah. Uh I mean recently I haven't streamed the Stoneforge spell at all because value Luris as a companion more yeah and i think if you're gonna have a package with artifacts in it like stoneforge mystic i think it's just better to just have an urza saga package because it takes up the same number of slots arguably less because the urza saga can take up some of the land slots and then you just main deck you know your spell bomb your uh shadow spear so those like cards like you know give you percentage points against like burn give you trample over with like your tarmogoyfs and stuff with shadow spear um there's a saga just going to the game also just grows a tarmogoy so like i've been playing that recently and i think that's Mm -hmm. honestly the best version of absan right now in my opinion i know there's not many abs index running around but like trying different builds between like stone blade uh you know various traverse lists lyris lists non-lyris lists hierarch lists i think just kind of a lyris list with saga is probably the best build if you want to play it really competitively because companions are broken, Urza Saga is broken, and you can add those two cards in your deck, and that's how you can really succeed. Um, Agreed. So, that being cards. said, <laughs> there's so many good cards in Abzan. Haha, <laughs> Grace. <laughs> uh, like, you know, you have Solitude, Grief, Rhino. Like, there's other builds you don't have to go into the Solaris Saga or a Stoneblade Shell. And I think this is how we proved it today, where, you know, we played a totally different shell than what I usually do um, when we went 3-2, which is a bad, and we only matchups again that we lost to are two bad matchups, right? Against Double Tron. So I'm pretty happy with this league. Like, this is really fun. So I'm really I think, glad you had me on. <laughs> yeah, I think it'd be great to to keep experimenting with it. I know I've thrown it out to your people and stuff like that that are following you, but 
I think I think there's something here, and I think I think I think Rhino can be played. Fringe, yes, but can <laughs> be played. Uh, you're gonna make all of the people that go into my channel be like, "Hey, remember that one time you played Siege Rhino on Fluffy Wolf stream?" There so you go. That's what I'm play. here for. <laughs> Stop it.